there is a status reserved for a select few throughout history. For those remembered for more than just a name, it's a title even kings die in vain for. Out of the dust, a legend is born. Born for the game, born for the fun. Time gives us all one simple choice. You can be forgotten or become immortal. Faze, unstoppable killing machines. Whoa! That is your MVP. Let's go. Benjamin Bats lighting him up right now. King Cammy keeps Ultra in it. Unbelievable from Ultra. I'm legendary. He just cannot be stopped. Oh! Atlanta Faze, 3-0. They're going to the Grand Finals. To be remembered is not enough because anything less than legendary is failure. Toronto Ultra, the kings of the north, They've got their throne, and now they've got a shot at taking the crown. I'm taking the crown. That's why I came. I was born ready. I'm legendary. Ladies and gentlemen, the time is now. It's Championship Sunday, baby, and you know what that means. We got to crown ourselves a winner for the Call of Duty League. I'm your host, Golden Boy, and it has been a pleasure to be with each and every one of you throughout the weekend. Give yourselves a round of applause. Incredible stuff. But the good news is we have two incredible teams that are about to take the stage here. And let's go ahead and introduce your first squad. It has been a long and crazy road for this squad. It is the Toronto Ultra. Legendary. Why has no one killed it? Inside now, the save today. There it is. The trap's still set for the kill. They can't get out right now. They're going to be on the side. Inside now, the easy six. First up, making his way to the stage, the tissue with the issue. It's Kleenex. A legend is born, born for the game, born for the throne, up from the ground. This rookie has and taken the, the league by storm. storm. Welcome inside. When he's on fire, he's unstoppable. It's Some say he's the greatest European player of all time. It's Benjamin Benz. And of course, coached by the legendary Marky B. I came to rule. I came to play out of the rubble. Give it up one more time for the Toronto Ultra! And now it's time to bring out your next team. For many, they are considered the uncrowned kings of the Call of Duty League. This is the Atlanta Faze. Huge win. 
Coming in. Coming in hot with a 1.47 KD during the playoffs. It's right back to another championship Sunday. It is One half of the tiny terrors and one of the most aggressive players in the league. It's Tiny Tear is your 2021 regular season MVP. It's Sam! Written in stone, history's made. I came and coached by the legendary Crowder as well. It is the Atlanta. Here we go, folks. At the start of this weekend, I asked you a very simple question. I asked, are you ready? Are you? Oh, I think we can do it just a, just a little bit better. And I'm gonna ask again. I said, are you ready? The Call of Duty League Championship match starts right now. Legendary. Incredible as always, Alex. It is time to get started. But Joe, I don't want to ignore the elephant in the room. One team destroyed to get here. Annihilated the competition, did not drop a map. The other has survived. It has been a gauntlet game five after game five. It's been very different roads to get here. No, it has. I mean, Atlanta phase, they made a statement. That was the goal after Major 5. They were upset. They were disappointed. And, well, maybe it was the time at that moment for them to lose because they have just been different throughout this weekend. But for Toronto Ultra, they are doing what Ultra has done all year long. They are clutching up when they needed to, surviving off control and search and destroy. They've only beaten them one time, but it was a best in nine. It was the stage two final. They are confident going up against Atlanta Face. This format's how they did it. We'll see if they can do it again, but let's get into our game field keys to victory. We're going to kick it off with Atlanta Face. Joe, talk to me about what these guys are going to need to do. They're going to get the W. Well, Atlanta Face, you got to stay strong in the hard points, right? 11 and 3 versus Ultra this season, 7 and 0 on Garrison and Moscow. We're going to see Moscow right in game number one. Abizi, I want to see him step up today in search and destroy. He's got a point eight. It hasn't really mattered. I mean, they've only played two games. But across seven maps versus Ultra, he has a 1.74 in their wins. And then keep control of that control, right? You are the number one team all year long. But in that stage two final, they lost them both. The control going to be huge. You've made a point of that all year. Who's won the events is who's been great in control. It has been standing out time and time again. But let's look at the other side of it. MVP on your screen, but he's got his work cut out for him today. The game field keys to victory for Toronto Ultra. Joe, take me through it. Well, control destiny is their way of putting pressure on phase. Four and one in those majors during that major two final. Eight and three here at this tournament. And Bance, he's got to find form early. Look at his stats versus phase this year when they are winning. Absolutely ridiculous. You are looking at that player to step on up. And then communication from the get-go. We know they are very calm, cool, and a collected squad, but it has to be on point. Toronto Ultra, their teamwork, the best in the game, and it's due to that communication. And you see Vance, you talk about calm, cool, collected, and you've heard him talk about how he found that confidence, confidence again, how he's turned it around this year. And you also saw in the video leading into this, like how painful it was, that loss at Champs years and years ago to look back to Black Ops 3, how close he was, he could taste it, fell a little bit short. He doesn't want that to happen again here, but unfortunately for him, he's going up against the final bosses. Since the inaugural season of the CDL last year, if there is a grand final, more than likely, Atlanta Fays are there. 
They've been there so many different times. <laughs> in the arena, <laughs> the Jalen Center is fired up, Maeve. And just give me a long one. Give me eight, nine maps, a battle between these two teams, the top two all year. USA, Europe. I want that chance to get going. Canada, yeah, no, sorry, it's like, I know it's ultra, but like, as, as Miles said, like, is it gonna be the first time like European player ring on their finger? We'll have to wait and see. But map one, getting ready to go, make some noise. Phase ultra, the battle begins. Who will strike early? Who will strike often? We kick it off with the hard point. And Joe, between these two teams, when you talk hard point, where has the big edge been? Well, it's, I mean, it's been Moscow and Garrison, right? 7 and 0 here between these two teams for Atlanta FaZe versus Ultra. But in the last stage, I mean, what, Atlanta FaZe, they lose a couple of those in a row. And well, Kleenex and Cami, Cami with that third sub, rocketed on the break, and the MVP candidate finds three right from the get-go. Yeah, Cami has been on one. Uh, maybe some slow starts, but those turn into bombs very, very quickly. It's like a switch, a lightning strike sometimes for Cami. And you're gonna need every bit of that here. He's gonna make another play. He's going on a flank right now through, through gold. Surprise! He's gonna line him up, be able to find one. Now just trying to play his life, but Abizi and Selium are there. Well, they're gonna find that time. And now with two kills from Abizi, they're gonna start to get aggressive. You're gonna see the way Ultra are playing. They're gonna spawn on that right side of your mini-map. That's where that second hill is going. And well, they're just gonna try and slow down here and get to that setup. What's well, good job by his teammates staying alive during that. How many times have we seen that player pinch? The teammates drop, suddenly you're spawning out. They play it safe. Cammy spawns safe, and now it's gonna be on phase to try and get that break. Three in a row. They've got three pushing from the bottom. That'll be Selium trying to hit from the top, but so far, King Cammy is on one. Seven and one, three in a row, lighten up the score feed. Now for these two teams, is there someone you think it's more important to get early map wins? I would say, I think Toronto Ultra, right, to get them going, but Atlanta phase, we saw what happened in stage two. I, I think it's, yeah, I think it's this key here for Toronto Ultra because you would be stealing one of their strongest maps away. Okay. We'll see if they can do it. So far, so good as you're beginning to build out a bit of a lead in under 30 seconds left to work this hard point. But Benjamin Vance on the pounce, but our city's ready and waiting. The trades are clean and quick, though, for Toronto Ultra. Now they start to back it up. Abizi still trying to play the cutoff, man. He's doing a great job of that. And those are big kills just to keep them spawning deep, allow you guys to get set up at third. Is now they'll look to pounce back, maybe look for a lead change. And, and I just gotta give props. I don't know who made the decision, but in terms of running a third sub, it doesn't matter the map. Moscow, Raid, Cami, he has been a difference maker doing it early on, but we head over to P3. A nice early setup in our cities. You know you'd be able to find those kills. Selly and behind him, the AR is locking things down as Abizi having a great start here, double positive. And just able to get back. Hit down to 50, but still up. Through on the pinch, it's going to be Simp. Surprise. He's pouncing. Able to take that. He actually gets the third. third. I, didn't, I didn't even think he shot, but that'll be a triple. And the other half of the Tiny Terrace finds the fourth. Is all of Ultra sent back to spawn. The lead change. Waiting in the wind now for FaZe to go out in front as they strike back at third and now focus on the bottom side of the minimap and Selium's POV is the battle for the street and bus side control goes on. Bance is the first one flying in for the fight. Now watch number three though. Our season's making a play by bus. Abizi is setting up a long pinch right now. He's all the way through. Selium's got to stay alive bank side. It is on Abizi right now to make the play. As well, you're going to see where Toronto Ultra spawns out. Number seven all the way across towards P2. This is exactly what Abizi wanted to do. Now he's waiting for his teammates. Here comes the collapse. You've lost the lead. You're spawning out. You're trying to bring it back. Let's go to a listening with Toronto Ultra. No one's going there, right? I'm pitch him, I'm pitch him. 103, Jamie. 3, 1, 3, 3. He's got dice and nade. I'm trying, to, I'm weak in time. Great push, push me out. Yeah. In gold, in gold, in uh, gold, 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 It's gonna be Dougie, Dougie. So, sell so down the street. There's one on P2, there's one on P3. Or bank. Okay, yeah. He's jumped up gold. Weak, weak, weak. Abizi, he's gone in gold. It's fine, short. Yeah, you're fine. I'm in boss. He's in gold, yeah. He's in gold, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah. Pillar, 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 go, pillar, go. Pillar, challenge now, pillar, challenge now. Can you get left? Excuse me. I can. It's cold there. Already. One more. Let's go, 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 go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Behind the pillar. He's premium left. I'm watching. Alex, Alex, weak, Alex, weak as fuck. I'm playing. Alex, close to me. I said, Alex, close to me. Alex, close to me. Alex, close to me. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna run back to one about them. Go in there, dead. Let's go. Let's go. Challenge, challenge. Let's go. Easy, one shot, one shot, Jamie. Absolute gold. Absolute behind that pillar, okay? 
I said, I'm just going to pinch them. Go, go, go. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Wait up, wait up. Keep blocking. Come, shoot it for me. Yeah, okay, okay. It's close, it's close. Yeah, it's gonna be sim slip, sim slip. Yeah, I've yeah. been there to ban him one shot, bro. Okay, right, push. Sim's not gonna be weak. Yeah, no, it's fine. I'm going to be sack. He pushed me on the right, push me on the right. BT on the top, BT on the top. They hit me, Jamie, hit me, Jamie. That's one street, that's one street. Nice. Why are you getting my spawn in? 30 seconds. Yeah, they're all. close to you. He's challenged me. It's fine, it's fine. He's gone back to time. Sarah's on time. Ali, Ali, Ali. Nice. You're good, you're good. I spawned in, I spawned in. Listen, I'm holding mine. Hold, hold, hold. I'm holding mine, I'm holding mine. I started to... What are you guys doing? I'm on the plaque on trial. Sarah, we've built two, so two on the road. Easy, nice. Sarah's on the left. Sarah's on the left. Sarah's on the left. I'm on one, I'm on one. I'm on one. Sarah's left side time. Oh my fucking god, nice. Left side time. I spawned in. Right side, right side. Nice. Where you going, Tommy? I'm in apartment. I'm in apartment. I can help Jamie. Alright, I'll street. One's old. I can get a tiger. Watch the street. Yeah, you have to. Watch the street. Joe, your big X factor here was Bats. He is playing great. The comms are on point. I love the simple stuff. Like, what are you guys doing? Like, he came off spawn. Like, just feed me info. Keep the comms up. Yeah, I mean, you, you just very calm communication. What we've heard from Toronto Ultra all year long. Just discipline the teamwork on point. They're in a strong position here at P2. And once again, it's on Atlanta Faze to try and have to break this cell and sim. Pretty slow map number one here so far, but that's just due to plays from Cami and Bantz. Uh, again, this is what, just what makes Toronto Ultra so tough to beat. And they get a map number one hit, win here, a map that Atlanta Faze picked huge for the Ultra side. Could be absolutely massive, now 100 points away from doing just that. Coming in and shocking many and maybe flipping the early part of this series on its head, but now to the other side we go. This is where FaZe battled back, answered back the first time through, but it's not gonna be as clean. ABC doesn't have that same double he had the first time through to alleviate the pressure. You've got one spawning all the way out in Celium. There's a fight around the point. Now the pressure coming to Simp and the MVP nearly triple negative. You do not see this often, but he is struggling, struggling to get going early. That's five in a row from Bant. Maybe chaining two to three and running away with this map one. Yeah, now you have, what, Bands on a five spree right now, just trying to find number six. He's gonna have another one-on-one, -on -one, but RC's just playing that late pinch. But beautifully done on rotation from Toronto Ultra. The team worked out of Cami and Bands, able to break on through, and as you said, you don't see it often, but they're taking advantage of it. Ibizi, though, trying to do what he does. He's finding the entries, he finds a multi-kill. Can he find number three? Nope, Arsenis has his back, a huge break yeah. when they needed it most. 100%, you don't get that break. This game is really getting away from you, but now, Maybe the MVP comes alive. Still a lot of work to do, but at least a lovely double there to begin to get hyped about. But you can see the white arrows on the minimap start to fan out street side and get ready for this bus side hold. Cami, Kleenex, chaining them together. Well, and I think the big difference in this map so far is P2 and then the, the first bus hill, right? I mean, Abizi goes on that long flake right as we got into the listen, and, and they don't allow that pinch to happen. The Atlanta phase breaks that we normally see a good amount just aren't happening. So huge props to Toronto Ultra, but can they hold on? Gonna be three dead. It's gonna come down to a one-on-one. -on -one. It's Abizi versus Kleenex. The close spawns, though, from Bank for Toronto Ultra. Abizi just waiting for his reinforcements, for his ARs to look over him, but there's just so much to deal with. You can see how much that close spawn matters. How much faster the reinforcements came in from the one side as Insight takes down two. The Frigs line it up. The beam's on point, and your rookie of the year is just shredding right now at 18 and 11, looking to get over that 200 point mark now. And look what Toronto Walsh is doing. They're getting aggressive. They're trying to flip the spawns for P1 and P2. That's where they've been so good throughout this map. Bant on top of things, 21 and 12. He is so strong versus Atlanta FaZe, bringing it here in map one as they're gonna get set up. And again, just out rotating Atlanta FaZe, putting them in a position where they have to break. Looking to put the pressure on them early in this best of nine. The kill feed continues to light up for Ultra. Now, if you're FaZe, you need to contest, you need to flip, you need to do it all. If you're Ultra, just hold on, close it out as Benjamin Bantz continues to light it up. Now five in a row at 23 and 12. And that's a Krig on the other side of it. He does not care. Smokes our cities now just 20 points away from a map one dub. And you can see what his presence has done. Seven and 22 from our MVP of the year. Finally up to eight, but Toronto Ultra 12 seconds away from winning map one here on Championship Sunday. You've gotten into the point, at least if you are face. You got to hold here and get the flip. Are you able to push through? It's got to be perfect from this point. Five HP per cent, but he does take the gunfight. If he would end at nine, I couldn't tell you the last time I saw him on single digits outside of an S and D. 
There he'll get to 10, but this is going to be the big moment where they need the break. Advance and Kleenex, of course, it's them again it looking to hold fun. on. Now the pinch going to be coming through. It's Cammy coming through the backside of it. Kleenex and Vance get it done. 13 points needed for Ultra. The last remaining phase player close will be Arsides. They're going to have a chance to break through. I think Arsides has leaked on in. He might be able to find a kill or two behind enemy lines. A BZ comes soaring in. They hold on to it. And Ultra cap off a magnificent map one. And again, right there towards the end, another opportunity for Atlanta FaZe to break. Simp gets a close spawn, but Kleenex, bottom police, able to win the one-on-one. -on -one. If Simp wins that one, he gets going, and what a win. What, you look at the stage two final. They went one and two in hard point, but they won this series five to three. It was one hard point. That was the difference maker, and they already have that here in our first map. An impressive, an incredible win in this best of nine for Ultra as we take a look at the stats. Look at Vance with the double positive. What was really standing out look for you, Look at though? P2. Just look at P2. The time difference. You have zero. over two minutes <laughs> zero. for Toronto Ultra. Zero out of Atlanta phase. Well, I guess I want to hear from you. Obviously, Ultra on point. Vance playing out of his mind, but surely you don't get many maps like that out of Sim going forward. I mean, you would think so, but I mean, this is what Toronto Ultra does. They have made them frustrated in the past, but yeah, you, you would think Sim going to wake up soon. If you wanted a long and extended series, that is exactly what you wanted to see early. An ultra win on a pick coming in from FaZe. And typically when we talk about it, where your edge comes in the best of nine, when you don't have a bracket reset, the edge really is in the vetoes early for FaZe. That's where they can get the advantage. But that advantage now, all but a distant memory as Ultra take over. They're up 1L. Four more maps for them to secure the title. We continue Legendary. on. And it's lengthy and incredible championship Legendary. Sunday. Do not go anywhere. Yeah, you know, yeah. I'm legendary. You know, you know. Mountain Dew Game Fuel is the official beverage of the CDL. Buy now at GameFuel.com forward slash CDL. Legendary. I've been talking a bit about why that was such a big map win for Ultra. 
The map two kind of describes that as well, because Joe, we're going to be going to Express Search and Destroy and talk to me about it for Ultra. Well, Ultra 10 and 2 on the year on Express on the other side for Atlanta Phase 6 and 8. Now it's a map that they've tried to work on for a long time. Just hasn't really worked out too well, right? And for Toronto Ultra, you've already played it a couple of times here in a couple of game fives. You've clutched on up. Now there is some VOD to review if you're at Atlanta phase, but Ultra right now, you got everything you wanted to start this series. Well, I feel like it's always talked about in major sports, like what's better when you're getting to a final? Like the, the survive type thing, where you're playing a lot of deep series, you're playing a lot of maps, you're learning a lot about yourselves, or when you just sort of breeze on through. And sports is talked about a lot, but like there's that physical fatigue side of it a little bit more than we have to deal with here. You feel like you got to feel good about Ultra from that, right? Like you just got so many reps. Yeah, a lot of reps, right? Just in, And you're just pushed to the brink. Where Atlanta Phase, they've just been handling business, but now they got to turn up. I mean, you can see what, you know, all of these players have done. At least you see a little, a little laugh there from Alec from Arsides. But a huge map here because an opportunity for Toronto Ultra and their search to destroy map pick to go up 2-0. And then we have back-to-back -back raids, right? Raid hardpoint, raid control. I mean, that is Ultra. They've been there all year. Yeah, but I think the same would be said for FaZe. If you're going to pick your top two raid teams in general, yeah. this would be What's well, the top two teams in the world? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good point. It's a good point. The fist bumps are out. The boys trying to get fired up as FaZe look to bring it back. After Ultra, what a just incredible map one. I mean, the rotations were on point. The teamwork we talk about always was so good. Bant seemed to be one step ahead of the competition, but there's the stat you just mentioned. 10 and two for Ultra. They are so good here. And you know, I saw JP tweeting about it and you know, various, various people in the Call of Duty community, but it's so fun to watch Ultra and Search because their mid-game decisions yep. are so good, but not just so good, they are so decisive and quick. They got more of that here. Well, and they trust one another. That's really it. Whoever is making those calls, whether it's really each individual, if they see something, they go for it. But when you talk about Express Search Destroy, it's, it's typically around those retake scenarios. We saw so many yesterday between Toronto and Dallas Empire. Well, Toronto came out on top. No trophies early. Tacticals out. Just playing for information as well, obviously. Their presence towards A, but we'll zoom out the map for a second to watch the action go down. The bomb getting planted here at B, so you talked about the retakes. This will be one right off the break. Four on four retake. Let's see how FaZe look to work this. Yeah, I mean, right from the get-go, right? It's three players playing very slow towards B. Cami throwing out a couple of nades, letting them know there's some presence towards A. But no trophies in, but here we go. Someone trying to find the first blood. 7.5 seconds to the fuse. Cammy's kind of lurking inside the catwalk stairs. Watch number six on the map. He might be able to make the play, but can he get there in time? They're just suffocating them down low and run just like that. It's a 1v4 for Cammy. What can he do? They're on it, about halfway to it. Cammy, a prayer, a dream, anything not gonna happen. They stick it instantly. What a collapse, pinch, and unraveling of the ultra defense it was. Beautifully done. And we've Bye seen phase. a lot of that throughout this year, right? If one player is going to try to make a play through catwalk, flanking through middle, it's about can the lower three survive? Can they try to just, you know, trade effectively, make it into a 1v2 and 1v1 where time is on their side? Just doesn't happen. A flawless round there for Atlanta phase. Yeah, it feels like rarely are the retakes that clean, right? Where you're not losing anybody. was curious who the crowd was going to be behind today is, you know, you have the underdog story with Ultra, you have the final bosses as it's been the past couple of years in phase, but you hear the phase chance starting to get going. Now, what can they work? On the offensive side of it, you've got one. Lurking help there through ticket, but if easy, is going to be able to hit the shots. The first blood king is there in the bait beautifully for Selium to pick it up. Stepped in through on the trade instantly and suddenly, uh, <laughs> We've seen it so many times. It's inside, it's inside by himself. inside by himself, yes. <laughs> Bomb gets planted, now left in a 1v3. A lot to worry. They're just going to double chow. I mean, the nade hits, and they're like, yeah, we're not going to let them run away, try to work some angles. But who is it? It's a BZ with the first blood. Want to see him have a better search and destroy date here. And well, so far, a nice round as he finds a, that early kill. Cell watching his back and then simp. He loves to lurk around the middle of the map, set up the late flanks, and he does just that. Yeah, I think when we've seen them really vulnerable and struggling, the respawns have always, well, the hardpoint's always been a little hit or miss for phase at times this year, but 
it's a search where you can tell, right? When they're throwing away stupid first bloods and not playing as a unit. So far, it seems all right, but we're two rounds in. Well, these are when these adjustments come in from Ultra, right? This True. is where they've True. been so good. What are they going to do? It's going to be a slow hit towards A. The next is going to be up top. So you can just see the way that Cami and Insider are playing, just waiting for the flank. But Abizi going to get aggressive. Lower locker side. Another first blood for Abizi. Going to try to finesse, play his life. He's getting chased by Kleenex. And well wins the next one. Give them all two. Can he find the third? Nope, Selium's got it though. And now it's down to Cami. And Abizi is there. Finds the third kill in the round. Gets the openings. Abizi, Abizi doing what he wants. Yeah, I mean, uh, a simple one MVP. Abizi very well could have had it. He might be the single most influential player we've ever talked about in Search and Destroy. Just what he's able to do early round, mid round, late round, he is a tear. I mean, you flip a coin, right? I, you know, I had a vote in for me. Number one was Abizi. Number two was Simp. You know, it's just depending on who he asked. But I just feel like he has such, had such a, a big impact for them. The role he plays, not an easy one. 3 0 early for FaZe. They look to answer back from the game one loss, but Abizi at 4 and 1. He'll carry that 3 0 up row into the next round. And sell him, just trying to spot for some information. He's know. gonna get out, but Abizi again, back to back to back rounds with the first blood. This time traded out far more efficiently by Ultra. Selium might get caught. He is not the easiest kill ever, ever, ever. Why won't he die? So his movement, but we're into a two on two. Kleenex is there to, you know, get that trade on a sim. So you have what? Cami and Kleenex going up against two Kriegs and Selium and Arcides. Have the bomb, 50 seconds to work with. Obviously Kleenex and Cami, they want to play this very close quarters in their positions. Arcides does find a 74U on the ground to mess with. And that is a read. As well, the nade is going to connect. Well, I don't know if it connected, but Cami had to slide on out. Well, that did. The tap is connected, and Cami's going to send it behind it. Now to a one versus one. Kleenex, Celium, 30 seconds to go. The peak, the tags, that'll back him up for now. now he's got time to reposition here, but what does Celium opt to do with the bomb? He's taking it mid, he's going to get spotted, and what a clutch! It is for Kleenex and Ultra. That is a round they so, so desperately needed. And that's what can be so tough with Express, right? With, with the way that middle of the street is, the way train tracks are, the catwalk stairs, there's a lot of different angles, a lot of different routes that you can take that mess with the timing. Kleenex, he just backs all the way up towards that offensive spawn, wraps back on through Cell, just trying to get across towards A. And while Kleenex with an ace in that round, as he's able to find all four, gets Ultra on the board. Unbelievable from Kleenex. Now, can he work towards some streaks? Look at number seven now in inside. He should be able to spot one. Nice shots. He gets ripped down to 32, but he's able to take the one-on-one -on -one versus him. Abizi, though, Look he, at that he play wants too. a trade. He wants a trade for the tiny terror duo, but inside he's just flying. He's, he's buying so he much time. I'm trying to catch him, but he's gone across the map, boys. I don't know where he went. Now to Kleenex's POV. Little dance, little shoulder. Takes the gunfight up to five in a row Abizi's now. Abizi's still chasing him? Abizi's been chasing forever. Finally, he's able to take out Cammy, but now it's Abizi. Abizi lasts alive. So many to work with. The defuse to work as well. Not going to happen. Back to back rounds for Ultra. And as yeah, Abizi just took a, he's smiling, yeah, because he just took a tour of Express. He was chasing him forever, and well, inside, just a great play, very decisive. He knows as soon as he finds Simp that the pressure probably going to be on him, and it was. Well, he gets out of there, he buys his team so much time. Kleenex able to win another one-on-one. -on -one. He's now up to six in a row, one away from that artillery. It was all phase through the first three. But Kleenex and Ultra bringing it back. Can he get that streak? Is he'll be playing. Oh, Abizi. Abizi gets all the way through middle again. In a position to win oh. it, but it's inside Ooh. again! And those are the ones that Abizi wins time and time again. Not this time. Not on Insight's watch. His timings on the flanks, on the routes are so good. What he does on catwalk stairs, on offense. A play like that on defense. Not many ready for that fight. Now can he get the retake and can he get the streak on the Kleenex? They are stacking up though! Kleenex with a massive trade, and that should be the artillery for him as he will stay up. Seven in a row. He can ping for the location if he wants to. He can ping for it. 20 seconds to go. 
Just a, a question of, is that what he's going to do? But he's just going to spot him, but sell. So clutch. A great search and destroy player a spot. into a one-on-one. -on -one. He's just going to finesse his life. The pistol. Does he buy enough time? Can he Go! get there? I don't it think he got close. it. I don't it think he so got it. close. I don't think he got it. Uh, he might have. He might have it. I don't know. Oh! No! Buys enough time. Oh, my God. Woo! Shoot! <laughs> yeah, that, that was that was 7.4 if I've ever seen it. Look at this. 0.1. Oh, oh yeah, it was 7.4. Ah. Oh, that's a round. Well, and there you're just hoping that Kleenex doesn't get taken down, right? He's jumping in that spot, playing for info. Self beams him. You still have the artillery to work with, though. Oh, that one got the heart beating. 4-2, not a phase. Clay next with the ping. He's gonna take some bullets after that ping. Arcee's trying to lurk up. Maybe get, able to catch him. Vance able to tuck away in a corner. Kimmy and Kleenex able to help. Some witchcraft there from Vance. And Kleenex right back to the heater. Selling him now, it's a 1v4. He's been able to take down one. 30 seconds to go. And Kleenex does not care. The man is dominating. Well, in, in these rounds that Toronto Ultra are winning, right, it's still a BZ getting very active in the middle of the map somewhere, but they are limiting him. He is not turning those into first bloods. And then Arceus can't finish that kill. The ping, they have all the information of the positioning of Atlanta phase. They still hang on to the artillery. <laughs> still down around. Arceus like, I got one. I, uh, yeah, I got, I'm, I'm gonna, uh, yeah, I'm going to get him. <laughs> he got the door. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 10 for Kleenex already and back to three in a row. I believe just the ping use is still the streak to use and Selium is like, okay, well, that didn't rip down to half HP. I'll get out. A BZ look at the first blood. This time going to get it and he takes the hot hand and Kleenex out of the mix. Simp through on the kill feed as well. Early 4v2 for FaZe. Cami though, he's able to get two, brings it back. Now Cami left all alone. One versus two and now you've got a ton of time here. This is those really interesting scenarios where it's like, where is he going to pop, Joe? Yeah, and you know, you just don't want to get caught on the bomb, right? Because you're giving him two 1v1s. They're going to line up. Oh. He has a crit. Oh. That's two kills. He hits him so weak. Oh. He challenges, but Cell with the crit of the advantage. Confident play out of Cell to take that gunfight. I, I don't know how weak he was. Had to be right around half, but Cammy able to line them up, and it is a close one. Well, yeah, I think, I mean, the first couple tags he got in was on to on a Cell. cell. Yeah. yeah, on a Cell. I, I didn't think Cell was going to repeat. Neither did I. But, but Cell, so. look at him. He's like, I don't, I don't care. I'm, I'm challenged. Cammy nearly with the play and clutch of the tournament. That would have been for the ace. But it's one more round for FaZe now to tie us up at 1-1 one, one of this best of nine. Abizi has been a first blood tank throughout the course of this. Not this time, Bance, with the shoulder, the shuffle, and the drop. Yeah, I say it's either getting first blood or getting first blooded, right? I mean, that's really that's, it. That's where he, it, where that he's trying sometimes. to find a kill, they're ready for it. And while Kleenex is able to find number 11 bomb being planted, Cell is going to make this into a two on three. RC's and Cell in tough positions with the craze. You're going to have to go towards lockers to deal with the 74 U's and while Kleenex in that position, man, it's on yeah, up. Yeah, just beautiful from Kleenex, just making sure he can get out, right? And he's just spotting this. Do not get taken down. Just gonna back on up and now it's Cammy's turn, but did Cell spot him? It he looks did. like he did. he did. Not gonna matter much though. All on to RCs now, 36 HP and a dream ultra. What they have done all weekend, all year. Staying alive. Yep, grinding this one out. Just, a, you know, great start from Atlanta phase. But bouncing back, reading the map is Toronto Ultra, and it's all about this bomb site. This is where they just have gone and been so successful. For Atlanta phase, it's been B, right? It, it's either low B, they're hitting it towards catwalk stairs, they're taking control of ticket booth. We'll see what Ultra does defensively to try and switch that up. It'll be Cell spotting towards B again. 
He dude, it's like the same number. He's hit to like 89, and he is out of there. And what? You still have the artillery, right? So what might happen is Kleenex might just blind put this in. And he is. He activates it. They have the timing in. Is he going to find a kill? The bomb's going to be planted. Does it connect with one? Oh, it does. He finds the first wait, one on Arsene. Wait. He was all the way to the deep corner. I thought he got out. It's a big bomb. It is. I, I, I guess it's a bomb. You're right, Joe. Arsene's dropped. 4v3 for Ultra, under 30 to go. Simps POV mid-map, looking to rebound for the map one, not gonna happen. It's Kleenex, again, dropping a bomb here, trying to get into the round 11, and they will. Plenty of time for the defuse. 13 and five out of my man Kleenex. Well, you got 13 out of Kleenex, 11, I think, out of Cami right now. Well, they get us to that round 11, and yeah, I mean, Sim's trying to make a play through mid-tracks, but I think they hear him. As soon as he drops towards mid-tracks, someone turns around inside of that cart. Well, he's able to take him down. Sim was the playmaker there. They were just trying to wait for him, and they read that one perfectly. Round 11 time. It's Championship Sunday. We deserve this one. Here we go. Offense for phase. This has been all Kleenex and Cami on one side, but Cami may be in trouble, able to stay up and back him up. A nade to greet him, though, hit down to 50. I think that was a teammate nade. He's got some teammate support, though. Abizi gonna check it again for a second, but he will get out. Nobody wants to get caught or drop, and now Simp just lurking towards mid. How good has Insight been at reading this? And yeah, you spot him, you know who it is. That's not a fun fight to take. Cami investigating the inside of this train. Yeah, while Simps just trying to find a late flank, maybe. That's going to be Bans going to be in, in that lower elevator, just waiting on that. Sim very disciplined. It, it's Cami on one side right now. Can Cami find the opening? It's going to be a BZ finds the first blood. Here comes Kleenex. 13 kills on the round. Bans is able to find Simp going for that late flank. You got to be careful here if you're a BZ. You can get double child. That's what, five or six first bloods. 3v3. Bomb planted. Kleenex has been the hero. Can he do it once again? He spotted him. He knows where both players are. Abizi, oh though, God. again, taking over within this round. Banso brings it back. 2v2, 25 to go. Selium puts it all on to Bance now. 1v2. Abizi will end it. It's three in the round as the SD God takes over. And Sip getting hyped. This is what we've seen. It's been a different Atlanta phase, a different energy on the stage. And they needed that one. And who is it? It's a BZ who shuts down round 11, finds the first blood, gets the bomb planted. A huge Woo! round from a BZ, and he goes big for his team. Sip is fired up. You got to love to see it. Talking his trash, having some fun, and it's got to feel good. He got bodied in map one. He got absolutely bodied, but they bring it back in the search. And a BZ, I mean, that was... Six out of 11 rounds of the first blood? Five or six? Five or six, yeah. And then he got first blooded before the other ones. Yeah, like... five with 12. I mean, Cell has 10, a big game from Hid. On the other side, it's Kleenex and Cami. Oh, unbelievable. Let's watch uh, BZ's play again. Uh, this is earlier in the game when he was able to work the Ultra Squad for three. Just unbelievable. It's a thrilling search to destroy. Watching some of the amazing moments in this one. Yeah, it is 7.4 if I've ever seen it. And again, just props to Toronto Ultra. With their mid-round adjustments, it was such early momentum from Atlanta Phase with what BZ was doing. They made the adjustments. They limited him. And, well, they found the first one on him a good amount of times. But in round 11, it's all BZ. Uh, unbelievable. I mean, this is what we want. Uh, tied up 1-1. Looking to go the distance. It has been impressive thus far, but a reminder, it's a best of nine. We've got a long ways to go. We've got a special moment for you now. A sneak peek for something Call of Duty related. Let's toss it down to Miles. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much, Clint. Wow, what a match already, friends. Well, we're going to take a tiny pause, a little one. Now, we know that it's champs. That means that this game is coming to a close. But when one Call of Duty ends, another one begins. Now, today, we have a very short and very beautiful sneak peek. Call of Duty Vanguard. The whole world is burning. Sometimes 
The only way to put out the flames is with more fire. for this. This is the theater of war, Arthur. There's no curtain call for bravery. Bravery is what comes after, not what you were in the moment. access to the open beta. Digital pre-orders get instant access to the Night Raid, Mastercraft, and Black Ops, Cold War, and Warzone. Wow! I mean, I've watched that reveal trailer about 500 times now. I had my wife translate all the Russian Cyrillic for me. I think I know what's going on, but I've got someone who certainly will know. Uh, a couple of answers for us here. I'm joined by Greg Reisdorf, again, the creative director for multiplayer at Sledgehammer Games. Greg, thank you so much for joining us. What a trailer. What can you tell us about the Call of Duty Vanguard reveal so far? Oh, thanks for having me. The, that is the Call of Duty Vanguard reveal. It is so amazing to actually have that in the wild now where people can see it and people enjoy it. The team's worked so hard on that. Um, and it's just amazing to have it. So that is the birth of Special Forces right there. So Call of Duty Vanguard MP um, is about playing those Special Forces operators. Uh, and what that means to us is a focus on the core in multiplayer. So that is that down the barrel experience, immersing players in those environments. And speaking of environments, there's a lot of them. We have 20 maps day one, 16 of them are supporting 6v6. It's an awesome experience across all of the environments uh, within World War II. So that's the Western Front, the Eastern Front, Pacific. Uh, as well as North Africa in there. So there's a huge variety. It looks fantastic, I can't wait. Now I heard you mention multiplayer there and I'm glad you brought it up. Now I love a campaign as much as the next guy, but I'm a big multiplayer player. Now I'm excited to know, it may not be the reveal today of MP, but what can you tell us about the upcoming game? Well, we do have a reveal coming up. That reveal is gonna happen on September 7th. And then we have the actual beta following up that reveal on September 10th for PlayStation users. And then on September 16th for all platforms you can get in there. And so for that reveal, we actually are gonna sit down and talk to the developers about their inspirations about and why they made certain decisions in the game and how we're really bringing it to life. There's so much more information to come on that. And PlayStation players, they will be getting their hands on the game next week, I understand, but they're gonna be playing Champion Hill. And I think we have a trailer for that as well. Yeah, we do. So Champion Hill, well, let's just run the trailer and let's find out. Let's see. Welcome to Champion Hill, friends. Knock out the other teams to win the day. Time to fight like a mean it. Take out 
opponents? Get cash. How you like me now? Champion Hill PlayStation Alpha. Wow. Okay. You had my interest before. Now you're going to get my money. Tell me about Champion Hill. This looks like gunfight on steroids. It is. It's gunfight on steroids meets Battle Royale. Last team standing wins with a power progression that goes through the entire thing. It is quite amazing. We've been working on it for so long and we're finally able to get it out there and we're excited to have it be our alpha mode. Um, we can get so much back from the community on feedback and everything else to just make the best possible game. Um, so just some details on what Champion Hill is because it's there's a lot going on. It's super new. You saw there was there were four maps in there um, and you're rotating between these maps. And where it all starts is you have eight teams that enter this and there's no loads is the important part. So those four maps are in there together. And it's a series of head-to-head -head combat between those eight teams and the last team that's standing wins. All of those teams have a number of lives. And as you're playing in each arena combat, you're losing lives and you're ultimately going down in the leaderboards. And if you hit zero lives, you're out. Then once you eliminate one of those teams, they do a little loot pinata, they lose all their gear. You go run over and grab it all off the ground. And what that really means is that these weapons and everything that you have in the game are persistent between these 60 second matches. Uh, and as you go and, and participate in the matches and you get kills in there, you get eliminations, you're getting cash for those. Uh, and you take that cash and now you can get more powerful with that cash. You can go in to buy rounds that happen every three matches and you're now able to go buy new weapons, you can buy kill streaks, you can buy perks, you can buy equipment. And by doing that, you're getting more and more powerful throughout the series of matches. And you, it ultimately culminates in the last match between the final two teams that still have lives. And it is just such an amazing experience. We're super excited to have it uh, for our alpha and excited to hear what people think about it. Greg, I cannot wait. I understand PlayStation uses next weekend. Preload starts tomorrow. So when you get home from Champs, get on the PlayStation, boot that one up, get it ready. I can't wait to do the same myself. Greg, thank you so much for this. This has been incredible. I'm wildly excited now. Any final words before we throw it back to the matches? Yeah, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for being patient through this. Please get in there and play. Give us all the feedback you possibly can. We're here to make the game great for you, the players. See you online. Hell yes, we love it. Cannot Legend wait. Uh, thank you to Sledgehammer. Vanguard around the corner, ready Legend to get Day. in. It's going to be an absolute blast, but focus. Oh, I'm, I, I, I just moved too much. That I got an amiibo. Like, I don't know. Oh, yeah. The, do you think that looked like a light machine? Look like I don't know what. That might have been a kill. I'm not sure. I don't know what it was. But do you it think looked... we'd beat everybody in here in a 2v2 one? Absolutely. Just, yeah. just based on our relationship and rapport. But now, we're going to take a look at a moment. If you jumped into this late and missed the first two maps, there was a, a diffuse in the map two that was insane and our producers are breaking it down frame by frame to like show how close it was. This was nuts. So take a look like at the diffuse and at the timer, Joe, and see how insanely, wow, look at this. Tim, what, point one? Literally point, it's like, it's like, oh. it's almost dead even. Like, like that's actually probably coming down to more than the 10th of the second. Like that, that is that close. It's almost like when we had the, the zero zero thing on the clock uh, the other day in the control, like it, it's, it's coming down to time that we don't even see. Milliseconds. Yeah. That's a difference in Call of Duty? Yeah, no, yeah, that's what you've always said. Yeah. Unbelievable. But now we get going into controls. We're tied up 1-1. One, one, and uh, I, we're probably going to show that graphic we always show where it's Atlanta and then it shows first a lot. Well, that's because they were number one throughout hey, this. Hey, uh, what do you season. know? I <laughs> yeah, no, number one throughout control. But back to what we were talking about, the major two final. They lost both of them to Toronto Ultra. So that was really the difference maker uh, for Toronto. Right, can they get back in the on the board? They were able to win that first map. Hard point, a bounce back from Atlanta phase. But yes, control for Atlanta phase. They've been ridiculous all year long. And well, we're headed to raid, and who doesn't love some raid control? Yeah, and like you saw Simp fired up after the map too, but you know, that Abizi was the one making the flash plays, making it to his show. 
Sim got body to map one. We're back to a respawn. I guess I'm a little bit curious to see if he's come alive. Uh, yeah, I think I am as well. But uh, on the Toronto Ultra side, individually, they are having some great moments yeah, so far. Yeah. I mean, map one, they destroyed. Map two, you got Could've the next go. You, got, you still had Cammy making plays. I would not worry if I was an Ultra fan, but there you can see it's 16, only three losses on the year I'm for Atlanta good. phase. But for Toronto Ultra, they played it 28 times. One of the, uh, well, top three teams in the in the game for a reason. Well, Joe, we went to round 11. We showed that diffuse. It's the milliseconds. It could be a 2-0 edge for Ultra right now, and who knows what our conversation is, but it's 1-1. Raid, maybe the greatest Call of Duty map in the history of Call of Duty maps. It's time to get back to it. Here we go. Somebody turn the screen on in the arena. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Joe, that was all you. I, I thought, did it. I thought, I thought Empire walked in again. to the point they go. Nice opening. But even split in the lives department. We see number two in RCs. He's holding for that water side wrap. But his teammates finding all the kills. Selly and Simp, but BZ clear them off the point. That is four down. And that's now time for RCs to be able to pounce. A BZ able to fly is they are just dropping them right outside their spawn. RCs who was waiting that entire time, I think ends up picking up three. So they finally get a little bit of clearance, but you still have Alec decide. So he gets two, but you still got to worry about him. There's the third. Everybody now soaring out that side, but to help us here through a BZ. Yeah, you're able to oh, get maybe two not. Tanks, uh, but Bance. Bance just dropping elbows. Yeah, Bansy came but able to find three kills. Now, what do Ultra want to do? They want to go towards this B side. Sim's going to have a multi kill himself. And what you can see, they had to rotate back. Does Atlanta phase? That's going to open up that eight point. It was a great break. It was nice progress. So A going to be done. We're going to have that minute extension. Well, Cell just trying to do what he can with the finesse. Up, down, up, down. How is he alive? How? Almost finds the kill. Kleenex going to shut him down. But now the tough part for Toronto Ultra getting done with B. Yeah, I think you feel all right, though, if you're Ultra considering. OK, well, I was about to say it was only like a three or four lives difference. You can see you got pinned early, but it's six real fast. You blink your eyes, and now that becomes a whole lot more impactful for FaZe. The damage done in the early rounds. And Kleenex, well, got with his pants down as he's trying to rotate across. It's Arsity still lurking. He has made this area his best friend. And yeah, they get the minute extension, but because that spawn kill comes in, because that trap comes in, you only have nine lives. Now eight. Yeah. This is only two pushes. This is two well, team pushes for Toronto Ultra with <laughs> Sip in your base, but now he gets taken out. I was going to say, like, literally, I was on the tip of my tongue, like, you feel okay for your Ultra. It was like three lives, but look how fast this just erupted. Utter dominance as they get up to a 10 life advantage. One kill for Kleenex, no chance to really even get going. They have been locked in, thwarted, and smoked. His simp keeps the multi-kills going. He now has as many kills in the first round of control as he did the map one hard point. Now here comes the last push though. It's gonna be three dead, four lives remaining. Arsenis, he's gonna get some rough timing as well inside, just trying to, you know, take him down, win the one-on-one. -on -one is going to do that. It only takes one push at times, but selling him off a spawn with the BZ to be able to take down two. Two players remaining, 20 seconds on the clock. A ton of progress to be made in Atlanta phase in round number one, gonna hold defensively. Is that enough for you? Like him having more kills in that round yes. than the entire hard point that he's like, all right, Sims here now? Yeah, he's, he's alive. Okay, okay. I think BZ getting going in that search and destroy was big for him. And you know, sometimes as a player, you get so excited, you get so amped up, the adrenaline gets going. You gotta play a map like Moscow, where it's just like, you don't have a lot of individual one-on-ones -on -ones well, and you get punished. Well, I think you saw that, you know, he was coming out trying to get the crowd loud, like all fired up. And you see the opposite with Bance, who's just sort of, you know, chilling, doing his breathing Meditate. exercise and he comes out and drops a bomb, so. Yeah, it's not always about being turned and twisted. It's about having the comms on point. But it is a uh, struggle for Kleenex, who was so good in that map, too. Now one and nine and sit back to spawn early. The pressure is at ring as RC is now into position. You saw him do it with the Krig and the AK-74U in hand, but the pressure is up the gut through mid-map. Abizi, though, ready, waiting, pouncing, doing it all mid to alleviate the pressure from his teammates out ringside. Sip is able to body one out back laundry, and this is uh, about as good as opening as it gets. You're going to get A, and you've got a four-life advantage. And you have Selium in top edge room, right? Just making sure they cannot get that position defensively. Bant is going to be there. Now you can get into your setup. 
But basically what they're doing, they're just pausing the clock right now. They're keeping a couple of players on A. They're going to get done with that, but they're playing some TDM, trying to give them that life advantage, trying to suffocate Toronto Ultra as they have great positioning inside a kitchen and money room. In the Atlanta phase, it's going to be a push towards that defensive side. Well, Semp gives up kitchen. Let's a BZ deal with it because they want a three hit around the back. Kind of saw as soon as the call came in. That's not an easy one, but for Simp, maybe it is. Triple positive, five in a row. Selium waiting, lurking, frying. As Ultra try to bring it back, but you see the three red arrows set up around that B point. First bit of progress about to be done. The gunny there for Kleenex. That is just his second kill through two rounds. Yeah, that's a big kill, though. I mean, you had Simp on a spree. Now it's a BZ's turn, and he gets two big kills to stop this streak. But Atlanta face so much pressure. You have Arsenis in the defensive spawn. Him and Simp gonna get right back to be the second take of progress is done inside the kitchen. Here comes the next push. A BZ gonna find Kleenex. And cut out Simp is there. Atlanta fans are swarming and they are making it look easy here on Raid. I'll, I'll tell you what, Joe, it's not often you get a win on Raid when you still have two minutes on the clock to work with. Because even once they transition to all right, the opening, they're basically on the point the entire time. Once we go to B, I mean, after the first, what, 15, 20 seconds, they're on the point the entire time. Like, time didn't even move throughout. It was that dominant. I think it was a minute 53 left on the clock when they were winning that. I, I mean, the best thing for them, just no streaks, right? No score streaks earned by Simp or Abizi, but the Tiny Terrors are here, 30 and 16 throughout this map three. Yikes. And can Toronto Ultra get going? You're having a good game out of pants again. He's been an X factor for them, but you need everybody else to step on up. And it's tough for Atlanta Face. Who's been the guy at moments throughout this weekend? Uh, maybe make a, a big play. It's a guy like Cammy finding a multi kill, going on a crazy streak. It's just tough to do against this team. Well, it's been about staying alive and battling through thick and thin. They're working this A zone, picking phase apart early. And you can see, I mean, look at the minimap. They're just content to, all right, get A. We will set up, post up, and lock you in. Now, this is the big moment. A transition for Ultra. Can it be a bit cleaner or do they get locked in? The teamwork of the Gunny on point right now is Simp double positive 18 and 9. Selium here to work and look at that. I mean, after they get the point, every single kill has gone to phase. I, Just I, like that, you're up four lives. I think the key here is the way they're controlling mid courtyard right now. Defensively, that is where Ultra loves to play around, and then offensively, that's how they set up their pushes. Dude. And look at this trap Dude. again. Atlanta fans are just running at the attacking spawn. Inside okay. clinics are gonna find three. They're go. gonna deal with that. <laughs> But yeah, it just felt like it's non-stop. They are just running at him. That was, from them getting A, that was eight straight kills, I believe, for FaZe. Just absolutely put the vice grip of God on them. Abisi just keeps the pressure up front. As there has been very little openings to work with and shows why, what was it? They've lost three times the entire year, Joe? Three times. So, so impressive. Oh, it looks like a stick. Yeah, it I thought, like a thought that was a fastball to the chest for a moment. But again, when we were on board with the BZ, it's Arsenis in courtyard. He finds the two kills. We're ultra are going for their push to try and set something up. Inside a kitchen, Joe. they are getting shut down. Joe, this is the best control team versus the second best control team, and this is an annihilation. Yeah, I'm up, excited so far, that is for sure. Up nine lives. This is the first time you have seen this side of the map if you are Ultra. And that'll mark five in a row now for a BZ. 40 seconds on the clock, 10 life advantage. Your final couple of spawns coming in now for Ultra. You've got one in behind enemy lines advanced, but well, this is he's got to track the whole way back. And this is what Ultra does, right? Especially on defense. If a player gets through, they just leave them. They'll play 4v3 on the other side of the map. Bant is able to find one. So he's up to 18 and 18. 20 seconds left, six lives remaining. Here's the final push for Toronto Ultra here in map number three. Can they get the break? Kleenex, Cammy, they find the kill. Simp is gonna peak and the patience for Bance will pay off. Take that trophy out first. That nearly able to snap back, but Celium gets the kill. It's a big win for Abizi. No respawns remaining now for Ultra. It's one by one, they begin to drop. Just on Bant and Kleenex now, and it is one of the more lopsided rave controls you will ever see. I, I think his headset was coming off before the map was done. Yeah, Arcee's all right, let's go. I'm out, I'm Give out. Me map Bathroom four. break. Give me the map number four. You see the phase boys getting fired up, new squad in the building.
Yeah, well, I, that I, was a dominant display. Was the map over? I, yes, it, I guess in essence it was, but it, this headset's coming off. I still hear it. There's still shots going down. Game is still going. Like, you got the Give me one. the next map. That was a seven minute and 45 second control. And what's so crazy is like we've seen that this year. We have not seen that this year when it's like number one versus number two. I think like two really good control teams. Oh, there was like a I'm sure it's happened, title. but like that—that that is as dominant as it gets when you're talking about two really good teams. And, and you know, you see, obviously it's a BZ and Sip, and you heard, Dude. you know, Chance talking Woo! about it on the desk. You know, about the submachine guns. You get it out of bands, but Kleenex struggling throughout that map. I mean, well, really everybody did, but the entire team for Atlanta Phase step it up, but it's the Tiny Terrors who. Well, they just shut down this entire map. And you're going to need them all. You're going to need every, when it is like this championship Sunday, best of nine, two best teams in the world, you're going to need everybody to have their moments. But Abizi and Simp, as a duo, may have the single highest take game takeover ability of any duo in the history of Call of Duty Esports. And not that they didn't need help there, but they just dominated. I got something on my jacket. I need, I need something to clean. A lint roller? Yeah. Well, we're dropping codes all week. Vanguard is around the corner. It was awesome to see that before the map. It got phase fired up, apparently, because they came in and crushed. Now, a 2-1 advantage. Back-to-back -back map wins. Bansy better be doing a lot of breathing exercises between this to bring it back in the map for We continue on after the break. Mountain Dew Game Fuel is the official beverage of the CDL. Buy now at GameFuel.com forward slash CDL. Are you ready for the show? Oh my goodness! COD Mobile World Championship, the highest stakes of any stage so far. Let's go! It's the show! We have no idea how hard we work for this. Regional final. Regional playoff. A nice hit, a nice hit. I promise you that we are going to create that favorite moment in the 2021 champs. Are you ready for the show? Now we caught up in the flow. Watch for the jogada dele. Todo mundo agrupado. Todo mundo agrupado. 
Welcome back, let's keep it going. Championship Sunday, fans fired up, players fired up. I, I'm fired up. Joe, are you? I'm very fired up. <laughs> yeah, but that was a stomp in there on raid control. Yeah, we yeah. are staying on raid for hard point. And well, map number one, it was, you know, it, it was looking good for Atlanta Face stats wise, but sometimes that doesn't matter. And also that is the one map win they have so far is on that Moscow hardpoint. Well, we talk about the importance of raid, the fact that you get it in all modes, you get it in search control and hardpoint. We got the control, we go to hardpoint. Let's look at some of our hardpoint stats though. You're talking overall hardpoint KDs throughout the year. And uh, yeah, I think it's a pretty good thing when uh, two of the top ones are on well, your team. Well, if that was throughout the year, that would be the most ridiculous stat oh, I've playoffs, ever playoffs. seen. Oh, playoffs, playoffs. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that was just this yeah. weekend. And I got ahead of myself. Yeah, selling Stip, I think, through the first two matches had a 1.8, 1.89. Uh, but the first match didn't matter. It was all Toronto Walsh where Cammy with a big game. Insight right behind him and Bance plus 13. And they're going to need that here again. Yeah, I wonder if we're going to continue to have this kind of ebb and flow, this give and take. You know, like Sim struggles in the, the first respawn. Then it's kind of Kleenex that struggles a little bit. It's like who is going to, I don't know, str I struggle to get going within that map. Are we going to have one of those where everybody is flicking, everybody's frying, it's going down to the wire? I mean, I love that. You saw it yesterday with Empire Ultra. We know this one. What did you say when it was like, I think I said to you, I'm like, it looks like we're casting Ultra. It was like a 60 to 80 point advantage. You go, nah, it's Raid. No, yeah, it was the end of that, that map four yesterday. Yeah. It was like 220 to 150. Uh, you want to go? It's, it, I was like, no, it's Raid Hardpoint. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's one of the best Raid Hardpoints we've yeah, ever had. Yeah. So. Oh my God, it is. Uh, you never know what's gonna happen on this map. Stood the test of time, that is for sure. We stay on a raid. You see overall where the records have been. The edge to Atlanta phase. They have been so good throughout, but you just gotta think after losing the way you have to your ultra, you lose in the round 11. You get thumped in the control. You are really looking to answer back here. But there hasn't been nobody tested more than them. Yeah, uh, honestly, yeah. when they've had to bounce back, they have. They have just been such a, a solid team throughout the year. Even just this weekend. Like, right, yeah, when they've needed something, they have clutched on up. And while well, they need a big map here to try to tie this up at two apiece. Yeah, you just do not want to get into a two game hole. Try to keep this a back and forth affair, but Zabizi finds openers. He's trying to get across and get inside, and that he is able to do. The teamwork on point, the kill feed all phase, the time starting to get collected. And you can see, trying to hold water side, trying to hold mid, it'll be RCs picking up Zig. As you watch the white arrow start to funnel out, Simp and RCs have that crossfire. It's a lot for Simp to deal with, and he is dealing with it. 4-0 and start. Just sensational. Hey, he gets stuck. He, yeah, yeah. That was directly to his forehead, I think. Yeah, Toronto Ultra trying to get water side to, you know, flip spawns for the second hill. We're going to head towards the left side of your mini map, dude. Over towards Kitchen. All right, oh, but at least okay. they're sticking up. Was that, was that deja vu? It's like four in a row for Sip stuck in the face. Four in a row for a BZ stuck in the face. What are we watching? Hey, well, at least they're not getting streaks, right? You, have, you don't have the score streaks to work with if you're Atlanta phase, but 40 points. Now as we head over towards Kitchen, Abance has the first gunfight for Sabizi. Seldium Sel and Arsenis though, they're in the position and right now it is just all well, red in the kill feed as they are just taking gunfight after gunfight. I'm pretty sure if it was Simtex's only, I, I, Ultra might be in front. It's not though. Yeah, it's not. No, 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 no it certainly is not. But what is Bance able to do? He runs into the tiny tears, not so tiny now. Three for Simp, eight and two start, just shredding. And, and while they get pushed out middle of the map, they flip the spawns. Arsenies with a multi-kill, this is the problem. These multi-kills need to be limited right now as well. They get across the map, they're oh, gonna try no, and no, chain no. these two together. They spawn Ultra towards P2, exactly where they want them. 15 seconds left to Ultra to have some time to bounce back. As well, Arceus, I think he's going to need a tough spawn here. I think he's going to spawn out at all, then he will. So you have a four on three, an opportunity for Ultra to get right back into this game. They need to. You've got numbers. You've got to get a break here. 
We got to go through Sep and Abizi again, though. Abizi will fall. Sep, though, trying to pick it up. And my God, what a wondrous job he is doing. They finish the final one. Sep, Selium get all four. They hold on in the three versus four. And the lead is mounting massively, quickly, almost to the 100 point mark. Only 18 points on the board for Toronto Ultra. You know, you and I were talking, and one of the keys was yeah. they had to limit the subs, right? It, it is tough to contain the Tiny Terrors, but you can't allow them to do what they've been doing the last couple of maps. Just trade those kills, put the pressure on Arceus and Selium to have to make the plays, and that's just not happening. It's a BZ. It's simp time yeah. and time again so far. I mean, you're five foot one in real life, looking about 6'8", 240. Yeah, currently. well, you're going right. to be 6'6", then on their money after a match like this, <laughs> man. Let me tell you. Oh, yeah, that is true. But it was a stopping in the map three. They're looking to continue here as Ultra need to find something to come alive. You said it, they've been tested. They're getting tested once again. Triple positive now from a BZ. It's a BZ from the front. It's Selium from the back. It is phase on the kill feed. Can they get out? Like, is there a timeout? A pause? We have one, it's just not in this game mode. So no, they're gonna have to try and do what they can, but it, what, I mean, 19 points. Now you have to try to make great basketball. Clinics and Bands do slow things down as they start to get going. And well, this is a huge break here. Abizi, the last one left. Do not allow a play to be made, and well, he's making one, but Cami is there for the trade. Next up is Simp. Nice play by Cami. Ooh. Finds number three. Okay. When they've needed something, who's it been? It's been this man on your screen. I, I feel, yeah, like nine out of ten times when somebody has to pop off and change the fate of fortune for Ultra, it has been Cami. But is it going to be too little? Is it going to be too late? Is you're up nearly 130 points, but you survived to move on to the next hard point if you are ultra. Now as the pinch gets ready, the numbers are here for FaZe. Abizi lurking like a tiger. A build the beast. And now he will strike. And of course it's Sip on the other side of it. The teamwork, the comms, the precision on point for FaZe as they continue to accrue the time. It's a slapping right now on Raid. Well, and this is almost what we saw in Moscow from Toronto Ultra, right? They were winning the mid-map mid gunfights. They were flipping the spawns as they try to set themselves up, and that's what's happening. The ARs looking over the subs. They're finding those kills, but here comes Clinics and Bands. They're getting on the hill. Now going to try to push out towards ring as we're on our final hill before we go back to that first one. Yeah, you almost have 200 points to the first set of rotations. Uh, it has been very, very strong out of phase, but what can you do behind this five streak? I mean, that's been the only maybe good thing for Ultra. Yeah, no yeah, streaks, yeah. yeah that, that, that's about all you could look at currently, and that's not a conversation anymore. Oh. There's the artillery, seven in a row for Cell. Before the trade comes through, it's a Krig on one side, it's a Krig on the other. As Arsenis tries to get out with 33 HP, but can't quite do it. That double century mark looming. As FaZe have got it locked down and one of the more dominant raid hard points you have seen. And Joey, I know you say it's raid, it's never quite over. It's not over till the final second is through where the 250 point mark is hit, but this has been a dominant, dominant affair. Well, typically it's like 60 to 70 point lead. Yeah. You to say that, right? This is yeah. a little bit yeah, different. Yeah. But you know, we always talk in a scenario like this, can Ultra just get going? Can they find some multi-kills to carry over to map five? That'll be the key, See, uh, a big break here. Usually that's like a conversation seconds. for map one. Well, I mean, hey, they won map one, right? That's They're true. still that's in true. the series, that, that's the key. We're to best in nine. They know how long best yeah. in nines can be. I just like the, the warm up and get hot things a, <laughs> a little different at this point, but how the last two maps have gone, yeah, yeah, I, I, I guess I can see where you're coming from there, but 33 points needed. You've got kitchen control, you've got mid control. It just feels like the trades are so efficient. Four phase currently, every time one teammate drops, I mean, look at the kill feed. Just trade, 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 until they get the edge, then they have the numbers, then they look to dominate as they can close it out here in kitchen. A big push for Ultra, it might be your last one. Well, artillery gonna be called in, everybody gonna rush on through. It's a homemade meal by Selium. He's gonna connect with that Arsenis. He's on the hill. One player left in Cami. Wins the gunfight, buys them some time. But Simp and the rest of the team is here. Now the flood through the middle of the map. Abizi up first. He's gonna take down two. Cell finds the third. And well, Atlanta phase, they can win it right here. It's looking like they will to go up 3-1. It's the next guy up. There is always one more into the blender. Go Ultra as they get annihilated.
And well, man, I told you it was a seven minute and 30 second control. It is a seven minute on the mark raid hard point. I, I mean, does, do they have dates tonight? Or uh, is there something they gotta do? It seems like they got a busy schedule. They're trying to get the hell out of the venue. Woo. Sheesh. These, <laughs> woo. these last two respawns. I mean, I'm thinking after Ultra win the map one, I'm like, all right, we are in for a gauntlet. FaZe think otherwise. Look at the map you get out of a BZ, out of Celium. The squad just popping off, but it's 4,500 damage in 20. It's weird to be like, ah, 26 popping off, but there just wasn't enough gameplay to really post a big number. Total game time, seven minutes. Oh, wow. Seven minutes. It was not a long hard point at all. It's just right from the get-go on the rotations, from that kitchen hill to garage. You know, in the 3v4, they're able to hold on. And then when rotation about, it was just too many hills in a row from Atlanta phase. Uh, yeah, these last two maps, it just feels like, yeah, you, you were watching online at home and you went to make a snack. It is just done. It has been so efficient. And like, there are, there are moments where, like at its best for phase, I mean, it's like eight to 10 straight kills, just dominant, right? Like spree after spree after spree for all of them. But even when at its worst, it's just been efficient trading. Well, it's multi-kills, like, right? Yeah. In, in what was the stage, that major five final, once Minnesota Rockers got going, it was Stanley with two, Priest with two. That was the key, and you're seeing it from Simp and Abizi throughout these last couple of maps. I don't know what you need right now if you're ultra to bounce back from those legendary. two. You need a rise from the dead like The Undertaker. Uh, Bance needs a, a oxygen mask. I don't know what breathing exercises need to be done now, but they need to find the fire. They need to find the passion. They need to come alive in this map five. Search has got them here. They need a win. Added a death. Call of Duty League is presented by Zenny, the official eyewear for the CDL. Armor your eyes with Zenny Blocks blue light protection glasses by visiting zenny.com forward slash gaming. Scuff, the official controller of the Call of Duty League. Have to get here off of spawn. Scuff, he dies inside of our envoy, also falls. Can anybody from out to get here in time? Like dominoes, dropping one by one by Gone and Ultra this time put him away. Finds it in his 
Cycle standing. Standing. Oh my God. It is done. Toronto Ultra. Through and out. It's just going to fall. They're down. Over to Selium, who finds two right off the rear, makes it three! Dallas has gotten the swift, decisive, the second segment now gone. A beasy! Sweet Jesus, he finds himself two more. Middle of the map, and well, it was the roaming player. It was Sim, ready for this entire thing, picking up three. Capture now resumes. Cammy! 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 Hello and welcome back, FaZe. Uh, currently beating Ultra like they stole something from him. Uh, oh, I guess maybe the stage two final? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I guess could view it that way, but they did steal some, but they have been fired up, and we want to shout some people out. Uh, I've said it many times, but good observing is worth their weight in gold. These guys, Joe, have been incredible. Yeah, listen here, everybody, can we give them a round of applause, please? I mean, just unsung heroes of the Call of Duty League, taking us through the action. Thank you guys so much. Incredible work this week through the entire year. Uh, yeah, no, I, uh, I, it's off topic, I know, with regards to what we have going on this major, but when you think back, I mean, with the commentators had to do it, or there was one person that was doing it. It was a lot of stress for us when we were trying to commentate and do it. Having that team is the greatest thing in the world. They are sensational. So thank you. We love you. Uh, but let's take a look at some of the SMG battles going on within this matchup as we get ready to head into our map five. And the battle of the SMG so far, it's one side. Yeah, it is. And you know, if you look back towards that major two final, it was Clinix and Vance that just took over the series. Vance with a 1.44. And honestly, he's been playing pretty well. You look at Kleenex maybe to start to step it up here, but it's not going to be a respawn. It's going to be a search destroy. And this is where Toronto Ultra have been so darn good. But there you can see it, right? We look at these map vetoes and what does Atlanta phase do? This is their advantage, right? in the best of nine coming from winners. They get rid of standoff. Toronto Ultra, one of their best maps. They put them on Miami, search and destroy. Neither of these teams have a lot of repetitions on this map. They haven't played Miami a lot, but you know, you and I have talked to Crowder quite a bit about their preparation and their focus points. And you know, we don't usually talk a lot about sensitive conversations there because we don't want to give away secrets, but some of the stuff later in the series we know has been a very big point for them leading up to this event. Well, two maps really, I think, throughout the year that they have focused on. And you know, when, what he has said is if we lock these two maps in, we win the whole thing. What were those it, two it maps? Is Miami Search Destroy and Apocalypse Hardpoint, which if we get to APOC, that'll be map eight, but we had a while to go, and well, we're headed to Miami. Yeah, he, t he told me I couldn't say any of this stuff throughout the course of the year. Now, Chris, I don't care. Done. It's the yeah, final event. Yeah. <laughs> but now there was one point where they were working on APOC. Hard point. Like, he's like, dude, we're like 100 no in scripts. We just can't win in the league, but I promise you, we will get there. And they're playing it until they win it. Look at the major final versus Empire. <laughs> they win it like 250 to 50. They've been putting in the hard work. But now I think the conversation is less about the hard work for FaZe and Ultras, depth, their passion. Their never die mentality. I, 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 this is must win territory now, right? You have to win this. Well, match. you look at the next three maps. You have Miami Search and Destroy, Garrison Control, and then Reed Search and Destroy, right? So you have the two game modes where they have just been so darn good all year. And if they're going to bounce back into it, it has to be behind those. You have two searches in the next three with a Garrison Control coming up next. So, yeah, you look at this chunk of this best of nine as an opportunity for Ultra to come alive. Can they do it? Can they breathe new life into the squad? Sometimes it just takes a map. I mean, if you watch Rocker vs. Ultra, uh, ESL, you can, a team can seem dead and come alive out of nowhere. Ultra need to find that now. Banso getting aggressive. Selium, though, is able to spot him in a BZ. What do you know? One round, one first blood. He had five in the game, too. Yeah, Selim gets that to position, just finds the early info. And of course, who's kind of lurking over towards B? It's Simp, who's kind of always playing the offside. But Ultra have done a great job of minimizing nice Simp's impact. And as soon as I say that, he finds a kill. But inside, able to find one. So we're new two on three, 50 seconds to work with. Selim in a great power position here. He's just hoping a teammate can get over there and plant that bomb. But everybody's kind of slowed down. Witty on the rotations, rotations defensively. And who's going to be that player? It's Cami. No, but you, you made a good call. You need to watch that number four on the map throughout the course of this. If we're focusing on A side, there are going to be a lot of one-on-ones and timings that are going to go down, sometimes maybe off screen. That's a good job picking it up there by insight. That's a huge kill to not bring it into a two versus two. And if they've watched them at all, they know how much he can play that alert role well. But the, as the plank gets in, can he get away? Arsenis, a speed demon. It's the same bolt. He's out. 
He gets tagged up, but he gets away, and Danny Chow's back to win the fight. The plant, the movement, the gunny. Arsenis with the final one as well. Are you kidding? And well, he just has the info, right? Simp gets taken down. They know that one's in the middle of the map, and well, he's just gonna fly on through, just try to play his life. He's hoping that Stellium can help him, can get there, but he finds this 74U, and well, he is just not missing right now. Great movement with that jump shot. A nice offensive round win, but it starts with that first blood from Abizi and Selium. Nice teamwork to spot Bantz. Bantz is a player. He likes to play around that boat side over towards A. Tries to find the timing. Doesn't work out. We look at the split now. Defensively, you've got three towards B. Four phase, and Selium kind of a lone man who's going to get isolated sooner than later. Easy, of course. He is hunting. He's first blooded, or he gets the first blood. There, he will drop. It's insight that's able to give the numbers. Okay, but insight's gonna think, all right, I've locked this down. Now, is he gonna know another one is through? Because Simp is through, and he's not, but the shots are gonna help him out. Insight has a chance to regain health and maybe take a challenge. As well, insight was great on the flank on Express, and well, so far, so good here. As well, Simp's just gonna leave him on the bomb site, though. Bomb being planted. It's a 1v2. Kleenex able to find that kill. Well, it starts with that first blood for Atlanta phase. It starts with Toronto Ultra. Sim finally here on the flank. But they have a lot of work to do. And while well, his teammates, they're all gone. Could be for the ace. Is there enough time? He's in just like a, a triangle trap of the Ultra players. Between a rock and a hard place. I mean, the snap is impressive, but it's Cami on the other end of it. And he's going to put that one down. And, you know, I think Simp there, I mean, you get through, right? I, I mean, with a BZ's death, you do get through, but, I mean, uh, wait to discipline, shoot, right? Wait to shoot until you have a kill. Yeah, right inside, gets behind, and then he kind of knows, uh, crap, I'm in a really tough spot. Tries to get out with his life. On the other side of the map, Arsides selling him. They get taken down by this man, Kleenex. The two best teams in the world when it comes to the mid-game adjustments, the mid-round adjustments in search. There's going to be a lot of give and take and reactions over the course of this one. What's the next step for FaZe? It looks to be a fast hit towards B and the 2-2 split defensively from Ultra. Watching mid-map will be Arsides. But here they come. Cami's gonna get all the information, able to finish it. It takes a lot of shots, but he gets it done. Abizi takes one down with him with the numbers, the favor, over to Ultra for now. And really, it's just if Kleenex can get out with his life, right? They're kind of in a three-on-two. Now it's a three-on-one. Say, so Kleenex knows that while well, all the pressure is on him, and well, defensively, Beautiful. Beautiful. it starts with Cami and Kleenex. Kleenex, a great map here so far as he finds another one to put Selium in a one-on-three. I was getting more nervous, like, bullet by bullet. Is it, it took so many hit markers for Cami to, like, finish that first kill, because for whatever reason, I, I, the sub has better bullet penetration than the Greg. Well, it's really good. Yeah, it's very, very good. You're right. You're right. <laughs> I, was, I thought Sip was somehow going to stay alive during the course of that. But Cami does finish it for the first blood. Kleenex on four in a row at four and one. I mean, map two, he was incredible. Well, in his search and destroy, I mean, that's been his bright spot throughout championship week. It, it really has. You know, respawn's, respawn's been, been back and forth. Yeah. You know, a lot of engagements. But in search and destroy, he has taken over like we saw on map two. I just think that's the way he plays. That's going to be the respawn. You'll live or die by him sometimes. It's just that's how it's going to go. The spot for Abizi. Not the funnest of gunfights. Ah, oh, Selium, he peeks for a second. His head is just annihilated. Oh! oh! Another stick. Kleenex keeps it rolling. That'll be five in a row before he dies. And Abizi finally takes that gunfight. Able to tag him up and up for Simp. It'd be a one versus three. Now down to a 1v2. Bantz and Cammy looking to shut down the MVP. Well, they're just in a double by boat right now, right? I mean, we know how tough of a position this is. Sim going to try to get an angle, but Cammy's going to be watching it. 30 seconds to work with, 7.5 to defuse. Just trying to see, is anyone still on my side? This is just time ticking. Well, they are giving him nothing right now. Is Bantz going to watch over his teammate? That's the spot I was talking about. And Good luck getting this defuse. You're going to have to have two individual one-on-ones. They're going to give you nothing. Beautifully played. Yeah, by the time he kind of figured out what the deal was, you're talking about 20 seconds. He might get the kill, but not enough time now for the defuse. Good position. And teamwork from Ultra to now take a 3-1 advantage. Simple carry, a three-streak over. 
but they just don't really give him a shot, right? Uh, to be fair, by the time, yeah, if he figured out they were both that side 15 seconds earlier, maybe he's got a shot. Even then, it's hard. And while that just starts with that fruit, well, the first two kills by Kulinex, they're taking middle of the map away from Atlanta phase. So they're kind of isolating those players. You know, the first couple of rounds, it was inside on the flank. Then it was Kami and Kleenex, and while Kleenex has not slowed down, he's up to six and two. I know you said it gets better for them as this goes, but like this, for me, Ultra have got to win this map. They have to win this map. And right now they're in control, but up 3-1. Can Kleenex continue to dominate? Can Simp continue to work this streak? Spots one side for information. Tactical out for information on the other. This is similar to what we saw a couple rounds ago, right? Like he's gonna be lurking B side. The other three try to work a mid nay pick. Well, I don't know if you're gonna expect this spot too often. I mean, it's tough to play it. You can play it about once a game as well. B's gonna start to work on up. He's got Celium watching over him, just trying to find a spot. And a lot of the times, early rounds for Atlanta phase, it falls upon this man, a BZ. Sneaky, sneaky. Starting to crawl on up. He's going to have the first engagement versus Bans. Just looking around, and well, it's a process of elimination. Sooner or later, you think he's oh going to find him. God. Inside, though, going to be looking over his teammate, and that is just nice teamwork and communication from Toronto Ultra. Yeah, they still don't see Bans, right? Just stay down, stay down. Look, that is bombed down deep inside. That takes a minute to develop, right? So now you have 20 seconds left. Sims like, all right, well, I got to make a play. Well, Insight and Bants, it doesn't take a, a monumental effort, but it's just one kill. He hasn't moved yet. No, he's just hanging out. There he goes. Bants is in the action, but it's Insight with the kill. And fantastic timing there and setup for Insight and Ultra as the lead continues to build. But no, I mean, that, yeah, you're right. Take so much time to develop, and then Simp, who wants to take his time and maybe pick the timing is kind of forced his hand is forced right yeah he's, he's got to make some playmaker right he's a playmaker maybe he can you know force someone from top a to give an angle to sell him an rc's but that's just not happening as well it was the first blood in, the, in round number one for atlanta phase that turns into a round when four next first bloods go to toronto ultra they're up four one yeah severe phase you're just desperately hoping for a first blood well they're getting aggressive right they, they switch things up with a bz inside a lobby is that part of why it's been difficult? Maybe not the best map for FaZe? Like, you know, you rely on BZ so much for first, uh, for first Bloods, but the, the ARs kind of dictate the pace a little more here? 100%. Yeah. Oh, he saw him too late. He's just damaging, but can't finish one. Finally able to do it! The snap back, and Bance is so weak. RC's probably gets one bullet into him. His FaZe desperately trying to get around. It has gotten away from him. Huge effort here from Ultra. And now it is just the King Cammy, and that is just Arsenes with headshot, headshot, headshot multiplier of the Craig. He's hit. Well, here's Arsenes. <laughs> that swag with the giant fat head Arsenes right there. I love that. <laughs> the crowd. Oh, he, uh, he is. He's nice headshots. Double headshot from Arsenes. They needed that defensive round win, but now can they break the defense? What have they tried to do? They tried to go to a fast B. Does not work. Cammy and Kleenex shut that down. Over towards A, it worked in one round, but what, Bans gifted it to him last time through? It was Bans and Insight that locked down, locked down A. So it's really the duos, and because they haven't won an offense without giving away a first blood to defense, they're just going to stay in their 2-2 split right now. Well, it's a little different, though. From phase. It's just a four on two hit. Kleenex, he gets the info and he is out. Fantastic job playing his life. Now look at mid map. The other two are tracking over. They're tracking over fast. So Simp has got both things to worry about. Every bit of utility getting exhausted from both sides. The spot in then from Kami. As they're trying to work dock side and top purple. Kleenex has taken so much damage, but he stayed alive throughout. I, no one can die. Everyone's just invincible. Well, Cammy gets aggressive as well. There's a crossfire. RC's in. He's up to four in a row. Zip with the slot. Nice Cammy's snap. still here. Whoa. He is ready for the next Whoa. one. Cammy! Cammy's so good in those situations, and he does it again. Like, how annoying did that look like to deal with his deal with for his POV? Just the but then there's left just like, and right. It's just snap, snap. <laughs> and well, the last two rounds, what you kind of said it. 
you don't get a BZ going. That's a lot of their offenses or their searches, how they get going. So they go back to the bread and butters. And, you know, early on in this game, it was all about the B site and those sort of submachine guns, getting top piano control, just trying to fight for that balcony. And they go to that. Defensively, it worked. But on offense, Clean he doesn't get picked. He plays his life. Beautiful round again out of him and Cammy. Ultra, they get smoked two maps in a row, but they can make that a distant memory with a big win here. And they're right back into the series. Cammy again, able to take a monster gunfight. They look to close it out here. 4v2, 4v1, all on Alec to try and clutch, but it has been a clinical search and destroy out of Ultra. They dominate. And they needed that so bad. They had to win that map. They had to. Uh, they sure did. I, I mean, just they don't allow a BZ and simply to, to make those plays. On offense, they take care of the flank. Cami in that round, insight in a couple of rounds prior. And then on defense, their 2 2 splits are strong. And they know that Atlanta Phase is going to get aggressive. So as soon as they have presence, they all rotate on over. It's a couple of individual plays in Well Toronto Ultra. They're still alive, and it's behind that search and destroy, which they have just relied on throughout this year. This is that big segment you were talking about where Ultra can really start to leave their mark, maybe taking advantage in this series. But yeah, Selium 1 and 7, Abizi 3 and 7. I mean, I think my final call in the game, too, was calling Abizi the SD god. He couldn't get it going there. And here we're going to see early on with Kleenex as he just tears them apart. Oh. He finds the first ah, it's Tom Brady. The, the map and well, oh. that just didn't look like it went to a good place at all oh, as no. RC's blows on up. And then on the other side, it's Cammy, right? Defensively over towards Garage, just playing his life with the shoulders, the movement on point as Kleenex and Cammy shut that round down. So, so impressive and so desperately needed. And I don't think it's just the map count. I think it's just how the last two maps went for me that is the big thing. Like, yeah. they just were not competitive. They were two seven-minute respawns, one by phase. You needed to come in and make a statement. You're still in this series. There is still some life, whether it's for your own belief as a player or for the fans, and they, they dominate. I mean, that, that was as clinical as it gets, and that has been one of the more impressive things about them as a search team. 100%. I mean, they needed a bounce back. Like I said, they've been in this position before. Every time they needed Legend a map win, they've typically found it. We continue on. It is a best of nine championship Sunday. It is the second season of the Call of Duty League. Who will we be crowning a champion by time it is said and done? Quick commercial break, and we'll be back with more action. You know
Hello and welcome back. We continue on yeah, at Championship yeah, Sunday. And Joe, I want to talk a little bit about control. The last time they matched up at the best, best of nine, we know Ultra was able to win it. They took both controls. The controls look a little bit different this time around. Yeah, I mean, we had Raiden that best of nine. Ultra was able to win it, but they... You know, in line of phase one with Checkmate, because, I mean, that was a, a map that neither team really played. They were trying to, you know, catch them off guard, but they lose that map this time through. They stick with Garrison Control, but Garrison Control, one-to-one -on, -one on the year between these two teams. A strong map for Toronto Ultra. When they were really on their run from, like, stage two to four, it was so much about Garrison. So they are 19-4 and four on the year. We take a look at the overall control stats. And we're talking, oh, so this is just actually for 2021 playoffs again. And like, honestly, it looks very similar if you look at the whole year, though. Like, really, like, face has been number one. You've been like two or three, depending on the statistic, for Toronto Ultra. It, it's just crazy to me, like, how good Ultra have been in control, how much we've talked about that, but like, how much better FaZe have been than the rest. Yeah, and I think looking at that, one thing is, is in first, it was a BZ with a 1.65, but on the other side, the entry sub for Toronto Ultra was at a 0.8 in Kleenex, right? So, you know, Kleenex, great in search and destroy. You, we're, we've been talking about it all week. The response, he's got to find a little bit more consistency. He's putting so much pressure on the map. A lot of interactions. He just needs a couple of more gunfights to go his way. Yeah, I think it was after, what, Thursday and Friday's games where you and I were going through stats for one of our casts. And yeah, it was like a 0.6 in hardpoint and a 0.7 in control of Kleenex. I was like, what? I was, I was really surprised to see that. I mean, granted, their you know, first series, they, they get 3-0. But I just, yes, he's been a little off and now. Yes, you're going to live and die by him. He just has to be the best version of himself in this matchup. He just has to be. Well, there you're going to see the stats. So 19 and 4 for Atlanta Phase, 13 and 6 for Toronto Ultra. Again, 1 to 1 on the year. Well, this area on your screen right now around Bricks Control, when we talk about offensive teams trying to work towards this A zone, it's a pivotal point on the map. And they've had some thrilling showdowns on this map and mode, but. It was a huge answer. And the map five for Ultra to bring it within a map. Remember, the best of nine, it's the first of five map wins. 3-2 edge for FaZe. Currently, to the next control we go, the first. It was a seven-minute dominant effort from FaZe. Ultra, can you get a better showing here? They'll start it off defensively. But Zabizi, looking to crack this defense wide open. Well, he knows he has a one-on-one -on -one early, but it's going to be Cammy. Boy, Cammy's able to win the first one. And I was going to say, Toronto Walter, they are so good on their breaks on this map. And they're able to come out on top four to two. As well, now just the pressure on Atlanta Faze to get out of this, to try to pause that clock, to get that progression moving. And you can see on the mini-map just how tough it is when all four go down offensively. Who's it been more often than not, though? I think it's been Selian. When they've gotten into this spot, like, he finds the picks, he finds the kills to get them out of harm's way, but he's going to get sent right back to spawn. It's a six life advantage already from Ultra. Inside, he is pushing up deep in their garage side. Like, as Tim's like, all right, I'm getting shot in the back off spawn. <laughs> he's doing it with any gun as well. Almost able to connect on the next one. Bance is there, Cami is there. All the submachine guns finding gunfights. And well, just like that, there's 30 seconds left on the round. It's wild how it shifted. It's like just from that break. Yeah, checkmate. I, I, I feel it used to be the hardest to get out of this trap. Garrison <laughs> has become unbelievably difficult against the top squad. They've gotten two kills, but will it be enough? The opening from Ultra, they kept their foot on the gas. But Cell, he finds another pick, but with seven seconds to go, somebody's got to get onto the objective, and they won't let it happen. Kleenex, Cami, and the Ultra wrecking through. Hold on. You don't sniff the objective. No, BZ with zero kills. Arsenis with one on the opposite oh. side. It's five from Bands, four from the other three as they take mid-map away. And you know, you saw right from the break, what does BZ want to do? He wants to challenge that player out on A into a one-on-one. -on -one. If they get out to that, right, it, it kind of puts the, the defense in a bit of a rotation where they give up middle of the map. That doesn't happen. Cami shuts the door, and well, then the rest of the team, they put him in the trap. Well, that one-on-one -on -one against most players, he probably takes it. Cami's not one of those players that's going to happen every time. Not every time, that's no, for it's sure. Just not, it's just not. But yeah, you, you highlight it, but one in 10 for Arsenis and Abizi. The father-son duo. See if they can get back into it. Can they put Ultra now in the trap deep? These early kills, everything. So far, one for one, but Bance, Kleenex, the subs, getting it done. 
making sure they push out. I mean, this is more time towards the objective than we saw in the entire first round for FaZe. And Insight, he's applying the pressure on one side, applying it on the other. He's just finding the deepest pocket possible against the opposition to try to get into position, but they've all got to focus him down first. Well, and that was going on. RC's had to stay alive A side. He was top green. You have Bands working inside of breaks. So they're going to try and work that player out towards A. Kleenex is staying B. Everybody playing discipline right now. Bance, he's going on that flank. What is he going to make the play? It's right now. And now they're going to take the 2 on one Here comes the teamwork from Ultra. They're able to find that kill. Cami now on out towards A. Simto through the middle of the map finds a multi-kill. You do not have a time extension. And only one player out towards A. They line up for a moment, but Simp can't quite finish both. But they stop that with what? Like a centimeter to close out the B point. But they don't get all the progress back. It's still so, so deep. And right onto the point they go. Bance closes it out. There's the extension. And that's what some objective progress looks like on the other side of it. Now, can you hold on if you're phase? This ultra is coming fast. Bance and Insight already able to take down two. They're going to transition this so quickly. Insight, Kleenex, wow. lining them up. Back to spawn, go phase. And this might be a very, very fast round two. Well, this reminds me of Raid, right? Just, yeah. I mean, they yeah. are winning all of the gunfights. They are finding the multi-kills. The trades are not there. And well, on attack, there's just one player left. Simp trying to do what he can. Can he find number three? RC's looking over him. They hold on. But Toronto Ultra in control right now. Yeah, it was like, what, a simp double towards B? They kept it alive a little bit longer. A simp double here to keep him in it. But you've got 90 seconds to go, a six life advantage, and all the they freedom in the world. Ultra soaring, putting phase on the floor. Onto the point they go. So they'll stop the clock and get a bit more progress. Selium. Somebody's got to contest. They're able to for a moment, but Cami wins the final fight. 2-0 leading the control and one round away from tying up this final at 3-3. And, and I mean, they win that second offense, right? So you immediately put Atlanta Phase back onto attack to have to clutch on up. I think similar to for Atlanta Phase, you know what they were doing? At least Toronto doesn't have any streaks that I'm aware of. So you have that to deal with. But Atlanta FaZe right now just simply getting outplayed. It is right from the get-go. I want to see what Ultra does on this break. It kind of reminds me of like that Rocker Ultra final when like there was just bad. Really, it's just like Haymaker like, after yeah, Haymaker. There weren't many close maps. People were just getting laid out. <laughs> Who's going to dominate the next one? Can FaZe take this offense? That, they touched an objective. I mean, that, that's, that's, that's a start, Joe. To start, but to have to win this break. It's definitely very patient on that vent flank, able to find it. Abizi trying to get aggressive, but inside just watching that cross. Cell is there for the trade, and they're just going to pause the clock, try to get this objective done. As they hold top green, that's going to be simp in position. Here comes the, the push out of Kami and Kleenex. They get that trade, and just a, such a powerful spot, because if you find kills middle of the map, you can fly out top green, try to retake B, but finally, some momentum for Atlanta phase. Uh, and this is one of those spots where Ultra sometimes find themselves in a little bit of trouble. They send one more push towards the B objective. Next thing you know, they're firmly planted on the back foot. Faze a shot to get around. Is it easy looking for the opening? He had five coming into this round. He's got ten now and on four in a row. Bit by bit, pick by pick, Abizi lining them up and getting towards some streaks. The movement there, the help for Arsides as well. B is done, the second point of progress is done at A as well. And finally, some life here in the respawn for Atlanta phase. Five now in an artillery for Selium, and they're on the board here. What a bounce back round, but what's the difference? The break much cleaner for Atlanta phase and then allows their players like a BZ to do things like this. This bricks area. They never got so here. So important on the map. They, they never, never got, got here. here in round number one, but here's that multi kill. And then Cammy, the last one here, he gets caught. And well, once you get hit by that first bullet, a BZ, he's going to take that gunfight, but sell able to earn the score streaks with that objective time. It's like, <laughs> yeah, I, you're, you're, Way to win if you're ultra. I guess eventually don't let them get like past the 20 yard line. Like don't, <laughs> don't let them get anywhere near bricks. Just keep them locked in. Because once you get there, you see how crazy it can be. But Selium is able to get both streaks behind the kills and objective progress. When will they come into play? But the trophy is there for the cover. 
Now, can they do a better job defensively to get this to a round five? Nice shots from Alec. The streak continues for Cell. And he's just putting damage into bodies. Well, another solid break for Atlanta Face. Toronto Ultra not able to get out towards the middle of the map. They're trying to work dark side with Cami and Kleenex right now. Just trying to find positions, any picks that they can get. Off a of spawn, though, inside. Beautiful shots on the cell. Well, you saw how hard those shots were from Cell's POV. Inside just <sighs> he hits the headshots, and well, that's where the Krig is dangerous. Maybe a chance for more streaks, though, as it's four in a row for our cities. I thought, okay, I was about to say, I thought the trade was instant. He got away longer than I thought he would, but eventually he will drop. Now we're under 30 seconds on the clock to go, and we're talking about some of the final pushes here from Ultra. And you were up 2-0 in dominating fashion. This is a map you need to win if you are Ultra. And suddenly, FaZe are making a run. Close to pushing this to around five and having some streaks to work with. They've got him locked in. They have four score streaks to use for the last round. And that is what's scary about an offensive round like that. Because when you aren't trading, when you aren't dying, it's not only the kills coming in, it's the objective work. And they have not stopped. What a tail of two halves in this garrison control. The first two oh. rounds, <laughs> dominant by Ultra. The next two, dominated by Atlanta FaZe. Sip uh, hey. getting fired up, and hey. he got a lot of missiles in the back pocket. It's a close map, though. We're just saying, I, like, I, we haven't, we haven't had them. Is it? I guess. Well, maybe the rounds aren't, but we're going to a round five. Well, sure we are. We'll just have to see who gets defense here. Well, it's going to be Toronto Ultra with their early okay, well, aggression. And, yeah, streaks. We've streaks are harder to use. They're, they're harder to use. on this one. Uh, I wouldn't say fails. It's just hard to hit them. I've seen FaZe use three streaks to get A and not get it. So, yes, it, it, they're difficult to use. Defensively, a whole hell of a lot easier. But if you're Ultra, you want to get those forced out earlier or sooner than later. Well, Can if you get them back to spawn quickly and make them have to use some to get out? Well, I think if you're Ultra, the key here is to win the break and then force them to use streaks to have to get out of the trap. Yeah, exactly, so far, exactly, so yeah. good. Ban's trying to do what he can. Up, down, up, down, get a slide now out. That's why you still have some mid-map positioning if you're Atlanta phase. But this should be a next team fight. Could be huge for Toronto Ultra. Right now, though, it's going to be a three versus two. And well, Simp, there's that multi-kill to turn the tide. Cami is still here lurking top green. Simp though, it's just beautiful to get the spot. And I thought just toying with him, I thought that looked so good from Simp, but Cami simply too strong and he will deal with it. But there's the second point of progress. As Arceus is getting the shots in, the wave of kills going towards phase again. As A, sorry, as B is about to be done, now you get a point and you have all the streaks to work with, it's an instant call. All right, you gotta be careful here not to kill one of your teammates though, and uh, okay. Well, Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, you sort of spoke that into happening, Joe. Um, almost instantly, pal. Yeah, it's my fault. He just drilled him. And well, not able to get one, but you still have top three control. But here comes Cami on the flank somehow. He's alive. Can he find number three? He cannot. But that's what we mean. Streaks difficult to execute on this A zone. You stay alive inside of bricks. You try to just keep top green control. And now Ultra with a lot of mid-map pressure. You survived the first. You got to survive three more. A minute 40 to go. And yeah, this is where you want to be fighting if you're ultra. Out towards mid, look at this flank. It's a deep one. Benjamin Bancy all the way around, turning heads, snapping back to the other side of him. Abizi able to pick it up as Inside gets back into the map and back into the action. Abizi now has gotten towards Bricks. Sorry, Simp, this is where they got, where they came such a threat. And after that kill, they're going to call on the other crews. Two of the powerhouse streaks are going to be out. One teammate drops during it, Cell hovers. Cell takes out two, and Arcee's onto the point. Now what can Simp find in Bricks? Now the artillery directly on their foreheads. The Bance white do? arrows starting to scatter. Bance is in a position, Bance is the one guy. He's yeah. in behind, get your trophies out of the way. Can he win the fight as we're near the second point of progress? Bance is just waiting on some help. He's, He's able another to get one. another one and get away. Bance is making the plays. The contest is in. They haven't finished second point. Sim doesn't get the last bullet. It gets absolutely it's Bance smoked. Bance is going massive for the squad. They called the other artillery. That's all the streaks gone. Now they're straight Bance. down to the guns. Bance, Bance went five in a row. Bance. What is that Herculean effort from Bance to make the plays when they matter most? One minute remaining. Seconds. 50 seconds. He's on five. Here comes FaZe again, though. Dance, buddy, you gotta do it again. 
just biding his time. He's slippery like a snake, but it's simp with the multi-kill. And Cell, he can't quite finish off Cammy, but they're so close to closing it out. It's moving so fast, nobody gets in. The stack is there. And despite the effort from Bats, it's a phase win. Zip going huge on one side. It is Bant, as you said. I don't know what he was doing. He tried everything to hold on to top green. All the streaks, the bombs going off. Zip <laughs> letting him know. Talk your shit. One <laughs> half away. I'll tell you what. When we first saw him, come on a main stage and what? We're going back to like London? Yep. See the see real London like ages ago? He is a different little beast now, isn't he? <laughs> well, the swagger, a little bit different this, no, now. This is different than anything we've seen before out of him, honestly. Just yeah. the way he is getting fired up. It is a back and forth battle on getters in control. Bands trying to do what he can. 4,600 damage. But man, all the artilleries and the cruise missiles going off. It's a 10 versus 8 with a minute left. I thought we were seeing it again. He said you've seen this, the three streaks used before. And, and it was versus it Ultra. Out. Yeah, it was, it was. You know, Bant's doing everything oh. he can, can at this moment. The this last is... artillery going off, a multi-kill from him. But then everything kind of stops, right? You have a lot of work to do still here if you're Ultra. And who is it? It's Simp who finds the multi-kill, gets them on to A. And that's the key here. We talked about limiting those, and that just doesn't happen. Look at the number four. He goes through bricks. You can see the number four on the minimap. He wins a one-on-one -on -one against Insight. And he's able to catch Kleenex towards outskirts by the generator. Sorry, by the satellite. It's just beautiful from Simp. And that opening, they just stack it. They've got three on top of it. It is done before they can get in. And look at how fired up this young man is. He came up short last year. You think he wants it now? I think so. Looking for his second ring. Bant on the other side. I, I mean, he just did everything he could. He just got hit by a stun, like IRL. Like, <laughs> we're having fun. We are having fun. We're fired up in the venue. That was a hell of a map. But now, if you are phased, we're talking, what, one map away from glory. And you got to think about this for Semp, too. I mean, think about it since he's come into it. Like, he wins it with the United. He gets second the following year. He's in a final for the championship again. He's had a pretty good career uh, three years in. He's pretty good. He is uh, pretty good. Him and Abizi, that duo, just so fun to watch. But Toronto Ultra, I, I mean, you know, they stay alive with Search and Destroy. We have a Search and Destroy coming up next. Can they do it through the search? Can they stay alive? It has been the story for Ultra all year long. Survival. Legend they need it now. I'm legendary. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I'm legendary. You know. You know.
also falls. Can anybody from out to get here in time? Like dominoes, dropping one by one by one. Assassin is gone, and Ultra this time put him away. Finds it is inside. Well, standing, standing. Oh my gosh, it is done. Toronto Ultra threw it out. It's just going to fall. They're down. Over Salium, who finds two right off the rear, makes it three. Dallas has got him to swift, decisive. The second segment now gone. A beasy, sweet Jesus. He finds himself two more. Middle of the map, and well, it was the Roman player. It was Sims ready for this entire thing, picking up three. Capture now resumes. Cammy, Cammy, Cammy! <laughs> We're back. Let's keep it rolling. Fired up, fans. Sim, talking his game. Fans. Making the plays, but coming up just a little bit short, and that's got to be one. That hurts. Yep. Because you are up 2-0, you are dominating, and you feel, I mean, almost like Vance said like, in the interview, like, what would a champ would mean? And he's like, we're so close, I could feel it. It killed me. That, oh, that map sort of says that too. Yeah, I think that in the Express, right? I think the early momentum that Atlanta Face is able to win, I mean, you steal that first hard point Express is a map they're definitely going to go back and look at, but again, Four to two, you're still alive. You're going to raid, search, and destroy. And well, Toronto Ultra, they have beaten Atlanta Phase three to one head to head on the year. We know how good of a search team on raid they can be. Well, we've talked about must wins. Now, quite literally, everything is a must, must win. win. Yeah, yeah, everything is a must win from here on out if you are Ultra. But this is the championship weekend from playoffs to the championship. How we got here, the road. It's crazy after the entire year and you know, partly online, partly on land, all of the drama and all of the storylines. It ends with our top three, it ends with our top two. I'll tell you what though, I love land. I much prefer yeah, this than yeah. anything else. I'm never casting in my damn basement again. No, no, this no. This is way more fun. A lot more fun. Well, there you can see the prize pool, $2.5 million. And well, you can see the disparity. First place, 1.2, second, 650. Still a nice payday. But I know what I'd prefer. Wait, did you say earlier when I talked about them being 6-7 in game, what did you say? Like, on the stack of cash they're going to have, they will be? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Wouldn't that be awesome if it wasn't, like, the big check and you literally just got, like, duffel bags of cash? Oh, actually, that would probably be way more annoying to deal with, but it'd be kind of cool for, like, photos. I mean, it'd be cool for photos, but I don't know, like, you know, obviously we see it in the movies. I just don't think it's that much money if you really don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Phase. They can close it out here. They were the number one team basically all of last year, but came up short championship weekend. They've been the number one team again the entire year. One map away now from closing it out. Yeah, while you were doing that, I was just listening to everybody get their skirts in, you know? Skirt! I didn't do. I don't do a very good one. No, you I think do it's not at all. Don't I think do that again. Yeah, but I'm like I'm 36. Like it's just that's a young people thing, right? Yeah, you boomer. Thank you, Joe. No problem. Face, look to close it out. Ultra, look to battle back. We've seen everything on raid now. The final time you're going to see it here for search and destroy. And how good have these two teams been? When you talk about this particular map end mode. Well, for Atlanta Phase, it's 11 and 4, but three losses to Toronto Ultra. On the other That's side, wild. 10 and 5. And well, quickly, it is going to be an A plant. It's going to be a full retake. You have a BZ working the flank. You have Simp inside the middle. No trophies going to be in round one. Nothing going to connect, though, for Simp. It's just a question of when is the collapse going to come. And typically, it starts with ring. You're waiting for a BZ, but they're going to go through laundry. Simp going to get back to his teammates. There's an aid zone. The stick is in. Nice teamwork. They heard it. The shots now are in. Kleenex inside able to find a couple of kills, and it's all down to a BZ. Nice execution from Ultra. They timed the nades perfectly. Yeah, and he gets a bullet through before the stick, but I feel like that's like his 10th of the series. Just strapping people with the Simtexes. But a great round one win. Beautiful execution there, back laundry. You just get one kill, really, for your phase, and that's just Selium's trade, and that is the end of it. Now they take a crack at it offensively. 
Well, defensively, it's going to be middle of the map control. And sometimes Atlanta Phase, they will just go right at it through offense, sometimes through pillars, but it's going to be five and eight. The SMG yeah. duo, clear next advance. Yeah. They're going to find the first blood. And this is what, you know, early on in the season, very early on in the season, when we saw this map dominated by Atlanta Phase, but Ultra, they just played with such aggression from their subs. They were very fast on the map through mid courtyard. You can rotate down to B. You can rotate through pillars. And if you want, you take art control away. And that's what this duo does so well. Oh, but sell no. How does that happen? Okay, well, yeah, we were really gassing that pair, but then Selium was real annoyed by it, apparently. Just the shots on point. Now that first blood advantage, it's gone. It's inside, last alive in a one versus three. He's able to take out RCs, and he's just able to get away with his life. Well, the play call was, all right, he's weak, let's run at him, but they're going to get bombed, try to put it down. But you're going to have a one-on-one one here. Does he check it? Sell in a bit of a spot. Uh, Does he hear him? No, he doesn't hear him. Oh, he doesn't no. hear him. We're doing a one-on-one. -on -one. He turns! Wow, that's a close one. Well, he's just not ready for it. I, I, I thought Cell was going to hear him, maybe slide, or I don't know. But Cell, we're going to see it from his point of view. Oh, yeah, just stack. Just, oh. Yeah, just gets right to this, oh. right to this Eddie. The body stack, we know that doesn't but, typically work in this game. But yeah, <laughs> but yes, if you watched any ultra search here, more often than not, yeah, defensively, it, it's going to be Bantz and Kleenex up the gut. What can they find and how do you deal with it if you're faced? Well, it's just about when do they want to try to counter that. Because we've seen it in two ways, either right up Zig or through pillars. We'll see what FaZe want to do, but back to attacking for Toronto uh -oh. Ultra. It's right back to A. A little bit more of a stack here, though, as you have Simp kind of lurking. Selium watching over him. Nabizi, uh, yeah, our first blood. Just had another one. So many throughout the course of this championship weekend, but the pick comes through pillars. Now Simp, his POV from the window is Selium tax another on massive numbers advantage over two phase. Cami and Kleenex just, what do you do? You're just, it just feels like you're kind of trapped, tickles him a bit, but the snapback not gonna work. Cami scurrying away, trying to take the one-on-one. -on -one. He's able to win that. I don't know how he wins half the gunfights he does. He is so disgusting. You know, you always see like Krim tweeting him out. Every time he's they insane. play, it's like, he's he, insane. it is just a pleasure to play against you. It's just because plays like that. He is so fast. We only take any gun fight, but he's in a tough position. You know, one on four, and I think he's just going to hop off the map. And that's Farewell. exactly what's going to happen. Legs and body broken. It's not but that he, far. He just was like, it's just like a penalty. It's like, you're out. Yeah, it actually doesn't even look that far at all. No, I don't know it's why. Not. It's, like, it's like a six-foot cliff. Oh, thank you. You are just a good-looking bald man. Did they say I'm a sexy man? He did. I think of all the bald people in the world, I'm probably top 1% for handsome. Yeah, you and Mr. Colleen. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. <laughs> oh, God. We continue on. 2-1 now for FaZe. Four in a row for Selium. Selium's just obliterating air. Well, they go right back to A and, well, middle of the You see map. a bird? Another first blood, though, and that's just that sort of lurk role that Simp is playing. Abizi, though, just going to spot that. And, well, Selium's ready for it. He's ready for the push through. And I don't know what that was. Was, was that a clean nice shot? Or, I don't know. Selium gets very weak. But now they're trying to hunt down Simp because right, it's a, a four versus three. But they know they kind of have him isolated. Look at the way Bance is playing. He has not wrapped back. And Simp, this is such a good read. But Cammy. Oh. Uh. It's a little bit better for him, and Sim just gets caught with a pistol bolt. He's just wasting time yes. right now, right? Just play your life. They're going to collapse on him. Try to find that kill. Bantz just, well, he can't take him down. Cammy, though, going to make this into a three-on-three. Three. Bantz to make it a two versus three. Now it's down the AR. Selium. Arsides. Able to find one. The trade is in. It's all down to Arsides in the clutch. 23 seconds to go. A little bit of info. A little bit of finesse. Well, what side's it planted on? That's the problem. Kleenex is on it. He gets a spot on the Cammy the whole time he has been on it. Can he find the angle? Not going to happen. They stick it. They get the round, and that's a big 3v4 clutch. Well, you know, it's planted for laundry side. It's tough for RCs, but it's the Cammy kill onto a BZ. And then this is what they have done. We saw it on Express. We saw it on Miami. They do not allow Sim to make that play. How many right, times have we seen him make rarely. the play? Like that lurk roll. He's done it so many times. So many times. And they're ready for it every single time. They minimize him. Yes, he finds the first blood. I but that's it. It's the communication. They, they trap him in. They force him to go one way. And while they take their time. Yeah, I thought he wasted enough time at first. But no, not the case at all. 
Last time, we were in this setup of Easy got the first blood, not on Kleenex's Nades. watch, but Lord the God, the Simtex is raining from the heavens. I feel like for the most part, the lethals we've been talking about Ultra, but that time it's FaZe, and now it's King Cammy. Can he clutch up in the one versus three? Arsys, first up the bat. He's got some help. He'll get dropped, but he hits him down to 60. Cammy just able to scurry away. And this is winnable. And he's got some time to work with, but Simp and Selium, they've been in this position hundreds and hundreds of times. Cammy gonna have another one on one, but Simp's there ready for it. He's thinking maybe they rotate it yeah, out, right? 100%. Maybe they rotate it out towards ring. Maybe they're playing an art setup, but they stay strong at laundry. Well, yeah, the more time that goes by, you're kind of wondering, is he rapid? <laughs> Where is he headed? But there, we saw this same thing on defense last time. They sent Simp up top laundry. They're, they want them to go in ring. They're gonna blow up the trophies and then use their lethals to just suffocate them. So we'll see for Ultra on offense, what will they do? Maybe switch things up. But Selium eight and two, the flex player for Atlanta phase. Well, he is flexing right now. Three more rounds. Right, look at this hard counter. It's to be a four on four towards ring. Oh, that's a toss. Inside has to reposition the help out there for a second. Vance comes sliding out and Selium, he is adding on to his numbers. Cammy though's gotten three. Oh! Cammy with all four. What did he just do? Show me his POV now. Cammy with the ace. It's a four on four inside oh. a ring. It just snap, ah. snap, ah. snap. Somebody knight this man. <laughs> Uh, he is a joke! And just like that, we're tied up 3-3. Cammy with one of the better plays you are ever going to see. Okay, but here's the switch up. You have a couple of players with presence towards A. But they've read this. FaZe know that this is going to be a B hit. Look at this read. Look at this read by Abizi. He's just flying. What is the timing going to be for Abizi? It's going to be fantastic. And well, he takes down Cami. They don't see anything cross towards ring. They were going to take Zig away, but they just fly. It's a 2-2 split from Ultra. And well, that's exactly what Atlanta Faze know. They've already won a 3v4. Can they do it again? When does this bomb start to get planted? It's not bomb. Vance looks to get on it. Narcy just one kill in the round, but one kill the game, but looking to control his back rock. You've got all four. Oh, Bance is going. Bance has read this. Bance has read this. Can they buy time for Can he get there? Can he get yeah, there? Yeah, they gotta buy time for him as much as possible. Kleenex able to find one. Here comes Bance on the flank though. Bance able to find two. It's a 1v2. He reads the flank. Look at him shake your head. Absolutely. Bands right through the middle of the map. He knew all four were together through laundry. Nobody's watching the flight, but what a job well done by Kleenex to find the first. And it's another 3v4 for Ultra. What a play from Bands. And in those spots, yeah, it's a gamble. It's like you got to trust in your teammates on both sides of that. The trust is there, the teamwork is there, and that has go. been the Ultra story. Here we go. It is going to be that middle map counter hit. FaZe like to throw at him, and it's a little bit delayed. It's a little bit delayed. So far a trade. You see the wall bangs coming in. It's going to be a three on three. So RC is able to find his second kill of the map. We're just trying to throw that timing off. Look at the rotation. Quick out of Bands and Kleenex. They are flying. RC is still already here, already in position, able to find one. I love this. Just back on down. Bombs being planted. 2v3 now for Kleenex and Insight. Can Ultra do it again? Down in numbers. Selium gets hit down to 58, just ripped by Insight. RC is going to push that. Insight will fall all on Kleenex now from a 1v3 to a 1v2. Just over 20 to go. And RC is, I mean, he's wrapping That's a heads up back play. around towards mid. Do not give him multiple one on ones. They do not play the clock. Back and forth battle here on Raid. Final shots from Simp. But that time, they close it out with numbers. And a 4-4 we go. Ultra's championship dreams on the line. Phase two, more rounds.
And what a big one for Marcides. What, one in four at one point? One in five? Now three in a row. All right, they go back to this 2-2 split, but they got to be careful now. It is just a counter. It's a counter where they just take ring control, and Kleenex gets caught. Bomb is being planted, though, so post-plant position. You have a far rotation if you're Atlanta phase. What can Bans do inside of Tiki? It always feels like it comes down to this player. How many can he find? Okay, he can't find any. No, no, he's dead. He is dead real, real fast. Cammy, though. The plays this man has made, does he have another one in his pocket? Selim just making sure nothing is working towards the flank. Maybe those simp S plays, but here comes the retake now. They have to retake the bedroom. Cammy able to find the first. Selim just trying to He got another! Up he got three! Cammy, I don't know how he does it! But now, it's on the rookie and in insight. Here comes Sel. Jumps over his head. Gets the kill, but no time to defuse it. Cammy! Cammy again! What? What is happening? Our poor observing team. <laughs> They're like, what, what is going on from this man's point of view? They're thinking that that trade's gonna come in. Are you good? Cammy! Hello! It's like target practice for this guy right now. Beam one! Get out of here! Snap! Hitting his shots, putting him down. Cammy on fire. And keeping Ultra in it. 5-4 Ultra, 12 and 7 for Cammy. 7 of the 12 in two freaking rounds. And 11 for Selium. Well, they have called this. They go back to their mid-map setup. It's looking like it's gonna be a B hit. But Sim trying to lurk, Sim trying to lurk. Is at least able to find one. Look at the hunt, the hunt is on. The hunt is on for a BZ. We're quickly into a one on two for Insight. Round 11 just around the corner, or is it? Can Insight? Rookie of the year. Hey, he's got more experience in hours and last of lives than any player in the CDL, and that's a made-up stat, but... No, I think it's correct. I, <laughs> I believe that one. I think it probably is. And it's all right now, he's just trying to play in a 50-50. What does that mean? He's just hoping that they go to A, plant that bomb, but doesn't happen. Well, bomb being planted towards B. It's the ARs. Selly and Marcy's going to back up, get together inside a bedroom. So Marcy's... Got the 74 they? U. Yeah, they're just gonna they? watch the cross here. Maybe just didn't want to catch a bad timing. Yeah, they don't know where he is, right? They could be on that flank. Does Insight have the ice? Phase. They get it done. One round away. This is what Phase, the organization, have been looking for. It is the one thing missing on their resume. A Call of Duty World Championship. One more round. One more round. It's a first blood for Kleenex. Septo through with the trade, the wall bang, the van bang, whatever you want to call it, hits the shots and brings it back. Three versus three now in the round 11. Arcees, he's going to be the guy holding as they start to layer up this water side. Banch is going to crawl in for the plant. Look at number one. seven in insight. He is lurking ringside still. Well, and who is it? It's a simp versus insight kind of one on one in the lurks. Of course it is. And what can simp he's find? Off. It's going to be a Craig. It's going to be a Craig. Two versus three now. Selium, Arsides. Can they clutch on up for Atlanta phase? The 2v3 for the championship. Sell is just hunting. Arsides to a 2v2. He stays up after Insight gets the angle. 20 seconds now to go. Arsides drops behind the nade. It's all on Sell. Ultra, stay alive. This team is so tough to beat, and they are showing you why. Every single time they need to make a play, they do. And who is it? Cammy, Cammy, Cammy. Those two rounds are just unbelievable from that young man. <laughs> yeah, I was saying to the one, like, oh, they're in the 2v4. I was like, ah, you know, you need Cammy to make a play. I didn't think he was actually going to line up three like, again and make a play like that. What? A map seven, it was. Kimmy, you are insane.
but it's the round 11 one more time as they have to close it out in the two versus two. It's Bats with the final kill. It's Ultra with the win. And this best of nine continues on at championship weekend. Is that trophy? It still eludes FaZe. Well, you can see, I mean, FaZe, you gotta focus on up. Temper there, he knows, so close, so close to holding that trophy. I saw out of the corner of my eye, like you felt the collective like gasp as everyone stood up, the USA chant started. It's like it's in their hands. Yep. You felt it one more round, but Ultra, of course. No, 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 not quite yet. But man, we cannot gas this man Cami yet. I know it is down to their teamwork, it is their comms. There are a lot of things about Ultra that are special, but Cami is just insane. One of the most talented players I have ever had the pleasure of casting. He won them those two rounds, that's what really it. I mean, that, that's what it that? comes down to. <laughs> Cammy, I don't know what you're doing in the morning, but give me the routine. You're a little Legendary. freak. Money on the line, so much. But it's the trophy, the pride, the passion. Who's putting it in the trophy case? Who's getting the dub? Phase a map away, ultra claw him back. We are not done yet, far from it. Do not go anywhere. Let's go. Out of the dust, her legend is born. Born for the game. is a status reserved for a select few throughout history. For those remembered for more than just a name, it's a title even kings die in vain for. Out of the dust, a legend is born. Born for the game, born for the dawn. Time gives us all one simple choice. You can be forgotten or become immortal. Unstoppable killing machine. That is your MVP. Let's go. Benjamin Bats lighting him up right now. King Cammy keeps Ultra in it. Unbelievable from Ultra. I'm legendary. He just cannot be stopped. Oh! Atlanta phase 3-0. They're going to the grand finals. To be remembered is not enough because anything less than legendary is failure. 
Toronto Ultra. The Kings of the North have got their throne, and now they've got a shot at taking the crown. I'm taking the crown. That's why I came. I was born ready. I'm legendary. The battle continues on phase. Legendary. Match point. Simp fired up. The map to close it out, or can Ultra get it to a final map nine? But yeah, I just, I, Joe, we have not seen this out of Simp. Like this energy, this passion, it is awesome to see. Maybe it's because, you know, quarantine for two years and you don't really see him in this setting, but it is, it is awesome. Well, I think it's just one of those things of where last year they were the runner ups, right? And he just does not want to go through that again. He wants another world championship. He wants to do it for phase. And you know what? He, he, He's trying to act different, right? Trying to bring the energy, the confidence to this team. But on the other side, Toronto Ultra, they stay alive. Now let's talk APOC. We uh, kind of talked about this a little bit earlier, but in case people joined late, uh, it's been an interesting map for FaZe on the year. Uh, we spent a lot of time gaming with Crowder, one of our close friends. We talked to him a lot about stuff, and uh, you know, he told us he was getting frustrated because in scrims, they were like something like, it was like 100 now on APOC, just, just frying people. They start to play it in the league, 0-1, 0-2. 0-3, oh, 0-4, and, oh, and, and I'm like, Chris, what's going on? He's like, these little shits are playing this until they win it. <laughs> it's exactly what he said, is that they're playing it until they win it. And he keeps putting it in the rotation, even though they kept losing. It's starting to come to fruition later in the year. This is that moment, though, that you prep for. This is where all of that, from a coaching staff to the players, this is what it comes down to. Can you put Ultra away? When we talk about Matt Poole, right? Just being good at everything you can, trying to work those vetoes and what it was major for, wasn't it? Where, you know, they were down 4-3. To get it to a map number nine, it was Apocalypse Hardpoint, and now a chance to avoid that map number nine. As we yeah. had to APOC. You know, I, just, I need a map nine. I just, I need it injected directly into my bloodstream. Ooh, I, I wouldn't mind that, but I'm man, sorry to FaZe fans who wanted to end this, but this uh, has been nah. fun. <laughs> yes. Oh, I just want to cast this forever. It is some high level Call of Duty watching these two teams go back and forth. The adaptations to get those small improvements in dubs just insane. And King Cammy with the play. Someone tweeted me, he's like, maybe it's Cammy the Conqueror. Now, I don't know. Call him whatever you want. Uh, He's a god. But there you can see, six and five. It's been a bounce back map for Atlanta FaZe, something they've worked on time and time again. And the reason they picked it, Ultra three and two. They just don't have a lot of reps on this map. And you know, you look at the vetoes, what did Atlanta FaZe take away? It was that checkmate hard point, because checkmate hard point for Toronto Ultra, they have just looked so <laughs> darn good recently. That's Rocker how they feel about it. It's not, oh, come on. They scored 60 points through two games. <laughs> We continue. Championship Sunday. Match point for FaZe Ultra. Need to take this to get it to that S and D to close it out. Maybe one map to decide it all. But it is the weak side start for Ultra. Can they make it the strong side quickly? Already They're doing a good start. job. They're doing a real good job. You still have Zelda staying alive up top, and well, you see the spawns come in, but not a lot of time run. Still 40 seconds left as number five Bans trying to get aggressive over towards that second hill. We're going to be rotating the P2, which is going to be in the top right side of that mini map. And well, that is the key here. You can get so much early time. It is so uh -oh. difficult to break. The spawn's still safe for now. One's going to spawn out in a BZ. Yeah, He's got to work out. across the map, and here it comes. Going to get into this area. Abiz, you better strap on the running shoes because they need them and they need them soon. Another one spawning out, teammates dropping everywhere. Abiz finally into the fight, but everybody has dropped a thing of beauty from Ultra in the closing seconds of the first hard point to flip the spawns. Now, what can they do with second? Yeah, yeah, some solid map positioning here if you're Atlanta phase. It's just so tough because you either have to mantle up towards this hill, you got to go towards that tunnel side into Temple. They're going to go all the way towards the back right now. And we'll try to isolate a couple of members out, and those players are going to spawn out. It's going to be three towards the back. Be easy. He's going to spawn up middle of the map. Advance. Craig, 74U, doesn't matter. My man's hitting right now. But here comes the break. It's Stellium and Arsenis with the 74U, but the two players still alive. It's going to be a 1v1, and BZ able to win it for now. He still keeps him alive on the point of BZ fighting. They know they need one map. You have seen the passion out of the phase side. It has eluded them, but they are so close they can taste it. Let's go to a listen-in with Atlanta phase. 
I'm still there, Mitchell. I'm still there, Mitchell. I'm still there. 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 I'm still I think left guys, nothing I'm left. I'm telling mid. Yeah, try to make sure we're rotating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. I'm coming to help you out. Cut out Kimmy. I'm coming to help you out. Stay down, Kimmy. Hitting mid, hitting mid. 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 Hitting mid, yeah, I mean, it's a scrappy hill. It's pretty back and forth. And then the key for Ultra right there was on the rotation. But look at the map control here for FaZe. So we talk about the first two hills and the way you can kind of chain, chain them together. The next three is the same here at 3, 4, 5. As well, you can see Ultra trying to work the back spawns where RC is right now, just trying to take him down. And they do. So a nice job by Ultra, but now they have to work the objective. All four stacking up for the push. All of FaZe here to deal with it. I see number two, RC's kind of spinning around. He's worried about maybe one spawning out on the other side. Maybe a bit of a, a flip in there. There it comes in. Number seven and Insight will spawn on the other side. So far, they're able to hold inside the point as RC's gets involved in the action. That number seven and Insight, maybe a chance to find an opening. Well, and I, I like got that. The read. I like that. I think with 25 seconds left, you know, Atlanta FaZe, they had an opportunity maybe to take a three on two, but they're just going to get the time. And they got all of it. I mean, they're going to tie this game up. But here is another money hill. Here towards our fifth hill. Kami and Kleenex on the rotation. Able to find a few. What is that spot? Sell him. The little jump spot through. That's going to be a spawn out now for Bant. A three on four by the hill. Turns into a three on three. Here comes a push for Atlanta Face. Lead change. Again, is Ultra back in front. And RC is trying to do the dance around the window. But it's Kami trying to hold from the bottom side of it. As he drops, time to get the pistol out. The pistol trying to pop, but still one more player. There from Ultra, a flurry of trades. Kleenex, brilliant bit of work to at least take down two, but you've got the numbers now. It's five in a row for Selium. As FaZe try to take the lead back, looking to close it out, get the ring, get the glory. Second by second, getting closer. Now 12 and five for Cell. Artillery locked and loaded. The next gunfight for the crews. Well, they're going to push on up. Watch the spawns here for Toronto Ultra. They flipped the map. Beautifully done here by Atlanta FaZe. What happened to them on that first hill? They do. Right back to Ultra. But now you can see it is a foot race across the map. Sip is in position. He's got two to deal with. Ew. Now it's a BZ's turn. And well, there's the call out. A nice response from Ultra. So they keep the right side of the main map for now. Time, though. A 20 second lead for Atlanta FaZe. There's the crews in for Selium. 13 and 5 from the flex. Three down. Why? It is just a back, it's like a ping pong match right now. Yeah, yeah, 11 HP and just shoots it across mid there. I thought Insight was gonna put a bullet into him, but he's able to hit the gap. Now the streak might keep going, sell! Eight in a row, up to 14 and five, winning the streaks. Start to rain in. He is hammering ultra currently. He's got two minutes in the objective. He's putting up LeBron numbers right now in this massive map to close it out. Watch a push though. For Ultra, it's going to try to be through the middle of the map. Able to find the first kill is RC. They're, they're going to give up the scrap time. They are turtling right now. A big moment here for Ultra to get back into the game. He still have the two streaks to work with. The bullets, hello, does not hit. And while well, inside, Banth five kills. Now you might be forced to use a streak here if you're selling them. That's best case scenario for Toronto Ultra. They get the break. They needed one. A chance to really open up a massive lead here if you were phased. So far holding on to the streaks. Now maybe the call. Artillery gonna come in. You watch the white arrows start to scatter. Vance gets a kill through, which is huge, but sell with the streak, with the gunny. He takes down three, but it's inside still in the back. He's able to take down two, seven of the clip, just trying to finesse you behind the gold stack. Enough time to get his teammates back into the hunt. A nice moment from inside to keep them here fighting.
but our city's in a BZ. They get all four. That's the clearance. And a bit of a split spot now for Ultra. Well, and you heard this in the listening as well. Not many teams do this, but they wanted to flip the map here for this third hill. I don't know if they just wanted to earn the time or, or what. They have a strong setup here at third. They weren't able to do it last time through. This time, trying to set it up. Sip no. now, he's starting to fi finesse and find multi kills. Abizi, he's up, but Vance is there in response. Well, it's a 40 point lead for Atlanta Phase. You still have the cruise missile. A lot of time to work with, though, for it, Toronto Ultra. Ultra, you have been tested. You have gone to the final map over and over again this weekend. Can you get it there one more time? And this is where the comeback can really start to roll. Down 30, make it a stand around the hard point. It's a multi-kill for Kleenex, but into the point is FaZe. Still spawning left side, our Ultra. As the accuracy of Celian continues to impress, now the big hit around the point. Our city's fantastic job at 20 and 15 to get the kill and back up. The help then there. Kill feed all to phase. Nearing the 200 point mark, 60 points away from the ring. Well, a couple of kills off of spawn. 10 seconds left. Phase, they were great here at Turtle last time through towards this fourth hill. Toronto Ultra are gonna try to work towards Chicken Coop. Thinking about it, but they're gonna hit the back. They're going to hit the back. They cannot do this for too long, though. I mean, you are just going to soak up this time if you are phase. Here comes the push. Arsene is able to deal with one. Buying time to finesse. I thought he was into melee off. Doesn't happen. And well, the rest of his team just going to stay alive. One player does spawn out, though, in insight. It looks like Arsene is ready for this, though. What a read by him. Never well, he did inside. last time. Better. Same spot. He picked it up last time, but the angle is in. He's going to get caught, but his teammates They're bailing him out. They're just soaking up the time, though. They did this last time through on rotation. They like, have the spawns. We do not care. 30 more points. 30 more points, and Arsene's back off spawn, able to take down two. Here we go. The crowd on their feet again. FaZe can feel it. They're putting Ultra away. They're stacking up deep. They're putting up down. They're into the blender. 15 for the chip. Cruise missile in. It's the finale on the main stage. He blows up his teammate, but it's not going to matter. There's enough time in the point, but they'll get cleared out. But look at the minimap phase are in. It's the guts. It's the glory. It's the championship for phase. Legendary. the pain for Ultra, but I'll tell you what, what a final it was, what a battle it was for Ultra. There are many that thought it might be cleaner from FaZe, but they were tested, they were tough, and it took every ounce of FaZe to get that win. But it doesn't elude them this year, Joe. Number one all of last year, they come up short. Number one this year, they close it out. Legendary. What an impressive and dominant year it was for Atlanta FaZe and the scary part for the league, the scary part for fans of any other organization, there is no sign of slowing down. Sure is it. Atlanta FaZe waiting for that trophy. But a lot of props to Toronto Ultra in the year that they have had. They have been so darn good. They have been so fun to watch. They truly have. Let's check out the winning moment one more time. It's FaZe. They get the win. They can enjoy it now as the photographers get the shots in. But here it is, the moment it was done. Alex headset is in pieces. That thing got launched. That was like a Simtex from Ultra. Ah, like a fastball. They got the money. Right. Look at him. Look at that. Is it? <laughs> I love this out of Sip. An MVP year. And another ring on the finger. 
You got to enjoy this because, Joe, you know as a player, it can seem easy at times in the sense of, like, you know, we won it once. We won it again. But you're not going to see it every year. It is tough to do. And you got to feel for Vance. I mean, you saw the interview talking about back in Black Ops 3, how close he was. Once again, it's there. He can see it. But not able to hold one yet. This is my rise. Now, but I'll tell you what, this core of a roster, they will be in the fight for a long time. They are so fun to watch. They are such a tough team to beat. And the big thing is, is they are a team. They always have been. They always will be. What a year it was for them. And how impressive if you're an ultra like with how major five ended. Two weeks later, you're here and you make this run. Yeah, people thought it's done. There, there's no way you bounce back from that. Well, they did. Yeah, there's something that's going to sh shatter your psyche. It's how that went. But Cammy on your screen, I mean, we cannot praise this man more. What a terrific player he has been all year. But the fans, they celebrate. They enjoy this one for Atlanta FaZe. That's why I came. I'll be honest. I, I, I was really, I wanted a map nine terribly just because, you know, it's a map nine, but to get it done on that and APOC especially knowing the work that Crowder and them put into it. It's a special moment. This is a special team. And yeah, I'm just worried, like, not worried, but I feel like we're going to be casting Sempathizi. So we're going to be casting these guys for like a decade, just winning stuff, aren't we? For a long time, it seems like. I mean, they've been yeah. doing it for three plus years now. Crazy, crazy stuff out of them. So, so impressive. You just think about like how short of a period they've been playing. Like if you're Semp, I mean, you come into the Pro League, you win a ring, you get second, you win a ring. And you gotta love to see the emotion there. Alec back with his boys, you know he's happy, his sons. It's so good, it's so good. They worked hard for this one, they deserve it. Enjoy it. To the main stage we go with Jess. Back on top, yeah. Thank you so much. It's time for your Game Fuel victory spotlight with Simp. Let's make a little bit of noise here. You called it Friday that you guys would take it all. How proud are you of the way the team finished? I'm super proud, man. These last two weeks, ever since Major 5, we've been in the blender. Our scrims have been amazing just because we had this team talk. You know, we got a little personal. We told each other what we need to work on, and we did it, man. We're back on top. So we were talking in pregame that you guys were looking for redemption for the way last season ended, and then you brought in Arcides and have just been slaying all season long. I mean, do you feel that you got that redemption you were looking for? Definitely, man. With the, the way we've ever had this tournament, and definitely 3 owing Dallas, just because, you know, all year long they've been torching our scrims. It felt good to get that one over them, especially after last year. So going to smoke those guys next year, too. And finally, any plans for that prize money? Uh, not as of right now. You know, it's probably gonna hit the bank account. I'm not gonna not gonna know what to do with it. So I'm sure these guys all feel the same. And we're just so proud. We're so blessed to be here, man. Well, thank you so much. Once again, put your hands together for Simp. This has been your Game Fuel Victory Spotlight. Back on over to the casters. I love it. You can see how much it meant to them. And yeah, that's one thing. You talk in the crowd at the beginning of the year with, they had a lot of, they were the best team last year, but they had a lot of finals losses, not just champs. Like, what was it, like three and seven in finals, whatever yep. it was last year. And he wanted a culture shift. He wanted these guys to really, I guess, get into it more when you talk about not just the gameplay, but like the personalities and they can clash and you got to dig deep. You kind of heard it there from Sip a little bit. Like they had to go a little man to man, you know, lock them in a room one on one, talk to each other, each other, hash out whatever stuff's going on and work yep. through it. And as much as we're gassing the players, and as incredible as they are, a shout out to just the culture shift and the coaching staff over there as well. Because sometimes it's tough, man, like, especially I think with gamers, like in, in during the pandemic and everything's online, you're not getting as much in-person stuff and you know, maybe not as many personal skills just due to the amount of hours they're putting in here. Those one-on-one -on -one talks, those, those headbutting between teammates, you've probably been there. It's not the easiest thing. No, not at all. And, and well, I think a big part of that is bringing Alec on, right? That was the goal from the get-go was to bring RCs on. So when they had those moments when they needed a leader, they brought him on for that, and well, now they're your world champions. Yeah, and he kind of heard when they talked to Arcees. Anytime he's interviewed, he's like, I love playing next to three MVPs. 
<laughs> like, not to take away from him at all. Like, Alec is incredible, and what he brings to the team is insane. It doesn't always show in the stat line. He is a special player, a special leader, but I don't. He might have the best role ever <laughs> Call of Duty. <laughs> Or the hardest role, because if they don't listen yeah. to you, it's like, I hate you. But yeah, I guess that's he's true. having some fun. Yeah, it just seems like if they can, we know it's going to be a whirlwind of an offseason, but if they can maintain the egos, if they can keep the focus on the wins, the sky is the limit. Who knows what this team is capable of, but we're going to check out our scuff play of the game now. We're going to take a look at Selium, who... Ooh, is he popping off deep into the series? Well, we talk about maybe some nerd spots there for champs. What are you hanging on to? That jump spot right into the corner to, you know, work those spawns. But what, he gets the streaks. He goes on a crazy spree. And I always felt when Atlanta Phase was at their best, it was behind this man. And every time they needed to play on Apocalypse, it was from him. Well, when we take a look at, like, X-Factor stats, it's insane for Cell. Like, when he is good, they are good. When he is bad, they will struggle. But what's up for Dansk? A little transformation phase. in there. Ah, I love that. A little transformation in that stadium. <laughs> that is so, so dope to see. Congratulations again to Atlanta Phase, your 2021 Call of Duty League champions. They worked for it. They deserved it. One more time, let him hear it. It's been, it's been special to see, and it's just, it's wild, like, as, as commentators sometimes, it's, like, so hard, like, you know, you want to, you want to balance it as best you can when you're talking about teams and players, and you don't want people to disappear into the shadows when you have, like, the tiny terrors, right? And it's a lot of focus on the MVP and what they're able to do, and Ibiza does some of the weirdest stuff I've ever seen. He's insane, but, like, you can't talk more about how just good of a unit it is. Like, I feel like, you know, sometimes Selim gets lost in the shadows, or Arsenis does. Like, it's, like, the perfect squad. No, it is. Uh, every single time they need a balanced effort, they are getting it. But man, it has been fun. What, what, it feels so good to be back in land. Fans, you guys have been awesome here in the Galen Center. Thank you guys so much. It feels good to be back. Feels great. We love you. It's been a tough couple of years uh, for Joe and I. This does it for the broadcast. We love each and every one of you. It's been fun. Holy hell, this, this was a fun weekend. But after the break, we've got the trophy presentation, some interviews, more to come. Do not go anywhere. We'll see you soon. Legendary. I'm legendary. Yeah. You know. I'm legendary. You know. You know. Let's go. Out of the dust. Her legend is born. Born for the game. Born for the throne, up from the ground, and out of the gates, I am the storm, I am the thunder, I am the eye of the hurricane, yeah, cause I'm the only one that's born for this shit, cause I am mythic, I was made for this shit, they feeling the rumble when I make you quake, out on the earth, up from the bottom, onto the top, making it shake, yeah, I'm taking the crown, that's why I came, cause I came to reign, Know the name, nothing can stop me. I can't be contained. I was born ready. I'm legendary. I'm legendary. Notorious, victorious. I'm legendary. Written in stone, history's made. I came to rule. I came to play out of the rubble and out from the dirt. This is my rise, this is my time, this is my birth. This is my legacy, I made for this shit. This is my moment, I was born for this shit. I make it rumble when I show my grit. I am the rock, I am the real, I am the strong, I am the great. Yeah. I'm taking the crown, that's why I came, because I came to reign. Know the name, nothing can stop me. I can't be contained. I was born ready. I'm legendary. Yeah, yeah, I'm legendary. Uh, uh, I'm legendary. I'm legendary. Notorious, victorious, victorious. I'm legendary. I'm taking.
taking the crown. That's why I came. Cause I came to reign. Know the name. Nothing can stop me. I can't be contained. I was born ready. I'm legendary. Legendary. I'm legendary. Yeah, you know. Yeah. I'm legendary. You know. You know. It is a great pleasure to be joined Legend on stage Derry. by your 2021 CDO champions, ladies and gentlemen, once again, Atlanta Phase. They've got their championship jackets, but they're missing one key piece, the trophy. Fellas, lift it up, you've deserved it. Atlanta Phase! Right, I bet your knees is a beast. MC, let's have a chat, brother. I want to have a quick conversation with you, dude. That, a lot of fans have stopped talking on Twitter about that last spot you were in. You may have just won the map. What was going through your head, and how do you come up with this sort of stuff? What's the secret? Um, I mean, I would, just, I would just play my game, you know? I mean, I, my entire team was helping me get into the spots that I was able to get in. And, uh, I mean, yeah, that's pretty much what happened. Like, my whole team just set me up for, uh, for greatness, so I'm happy. We're in the presence of greatness today. Thank you so much, brother. Ask these, dude, real quick for you, my friend. You're the leader coming into this squad. I mean, what kind of pressure was that for you day in, day out, to know that, you know, a lot of fans were thinking that the success of the team, it may have been on your shoulders. I mean, these guys make it easy. This, this last month has been hell for us. Three of us got sick. We come out here, we're, we don't even know if we're gonna play this, this event, so we're like, screw it. If we come out, we come out, we, we're gonna come out strong. That's all I know. But all I know is, shout out to my family, shout out to this family, and phase the fuck up. You heard it there first. Gentlemen, congratulations again. We've given away our championship trophy. We still have one more trophy to give away. That is, of course, the MVP trophy. After much deliberation, and I mean much deliberation, because it ain't easy between these four. The 2021 Call of Duty League MVP is a beezy. Beasy. GG's. Well done, man. How the hell do you sum up a year like this? How do you how do you put into words what you've gone through? The victory here today, the MVP. What do you say? I don't even know what to say. I mean, shout out to everyone that supported us. You guys are all amazing, seriously. And shout out to my teammates. Honestly, I think MC deserved this. This man MC put on in finals those last few maps. That man is a beast. You're one half of the Tiny Terrors. I mean, your fan favorites, you're the nightmare of the league for a lot of people. Folks have felt for a long time that you've been in the shadow of Sim. Is that the case? Do you ever feel like you're in his shadow? Absolutely not. I mean, me and Chris take both of our moments, you know, to fry and go off, and I feel like we both get the recognition that we deserve. We appreciate it. Yeah. It was an incredible run, an incredible run. All right, Chris, we know what Chris could do with the money. What are you going to do with the money? Where the hell do you go from here? You guys have seemingly won everything. You've almost done all of it now. What happens next? I have no idea. I really don't know what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> well, mate, congratulations again. Ladies and gentlemen, 2021 Call of Duty League MVP, RBZ! Boys, get in the middle. Get in the middle.
once more for your 2021 Call of Duty League Champions, Atlanta Phase! When we come back after the break, we're talking more Call of Duty and breaking down this unbelievable and unforgettable day. Don't legendary. go anywhere, we'll be right back. I'm legendary. Out of the dust, her legend is born. Born for the game, born for the throne. Up from the ground, and out of the gates, I am the storm, I am the thunder, I am the eye of the hurricane. Yeah, cause I'm the only one that's born for this shit. Cause I admit that God was made for this shit. They feeling the rumble and I make you quake. Out on the earth, up from the bottom, onto the top, making it shake, yeah. I'm taking the crown, that's why I came, cause I came to reign, know the name, nothing can stop me, I can't be contained, I was born ready, I'm legendary. Written in stone, history's made. I came to rule, I came to play. Out of the rubble and out from the dirt. This is my rise, this is my time, this is my birth. This is my legacy, I made for this shit. This is my moment, I was born for this shit. I make it rumble when I show my grit. I am the rock, I am the real, I am the strong, I am the great. Yeah. I'm taking the crown, that's why I came, cause I came to reign, know the name, nothing can stop me, I can't be contained, I was born ready, I'm legendary, yeah, yeah, I'm legendary. Taking the crown, that's why I came. Cause I came to reign, know the name. Nothing can stop me, I can't be contained. I was born ready, I'm legendary. Call of Duty League is presented by Zenny, the official eyewear for the CDL. Armor your eyes with Zenny Blocks Blue Light Protection Glasses by visiting zenny.com forward slash gaming. Scuff, the official controller of the Call of Duty League. Well, fellas, what more can we say? What an unbelievable tournament. It's good to be back and congratulations to Atlanta Phase. No team more deserving. No one else could have done it like that. And man, it was one hell of a grand finals. We all thought it was gonna be a 5-0. We were calling it yesterday, unashamedly. We really thought it was gonna be a blowout. It was not that. Boys, how do you put it into words? I just feel special, right? These guys got their redemption. The story arc is finally complete. complete. And you guys both actually predicted it correctly. 5-3 phase, that was a good call. Hey, man, it was good job, Chance, you know? Let's go off the rip. But there you go. Just a tremendous series from both teams, man. <laughs> Toronto really coming out early with that hard point. I was not expecting that. They were hot, especially Kami and Vance. Both of those guys really took over. But that game two, that game two, if they clutched that up, it's probably a totally different series. Uh, I mean, that's definitely the turning moment, right? But just all the credit in the world to FaZe. Like, their story last year is they were arguably the best team in the game. Yeah. Couldn't quite close it out in the end. This year, domination from start to finish. The and they got the ring in the end in a fairly dominant fashion. I mean, the players just across the board, incredible. It's one of those situations. We're handing out MVPs for the regular season, handing them out for, like, the finals as well, and there's just such a tough argument between the players because all of these guys have been so lights out. So lights out. And again, for me, it's the mental game. I tweeted about it just a moment ago, but the mental resolve that both squads had coming in for Major 5, I mean, what? Ultra with the ultimate collapse, and of course, Atlanta phase losing the Seattle Surge. They both rebounded in the most incredible way possible. First and second place finishes. You can't be that disappointed. Namus, we talk about that mental break. 
breakdown. We talk about everything that's been going on in game. You have a, a bit of a clip for us. You're talking about that round 11 S and D. That's where everything changed for you. Yeah, I think that this was an extremely important moment in yeah. this map. When the, you know they'll probably go back and look at it and be like, man, if we would have just won this round, the series is completely different. It's like that, and then that garrison control. But this, even more importantly for me, was just such a huge round. You see on, the, on this round right here, it's a push over towards A for Phase. They get up close to personal Cammy's by himself inside of this inside of the train. And he needs somebody to be watching his back right here. He's the guy who's on the island. He does a good job at finesse of playing his life, but you need an AR on your back window looking over you so you don't get trapped. FaZe is such a good team that in these rounds, if you give them your position, they're gonna eventually trap you, and that's what you see FaZe does, and they eventually take out Cammy. And Cammy is the guy you need to take out too, yes. right? Like as long as you can kill him on the map, things get so much easier after that, but it really just comes down to that first blood, right? He is in such the, the particular spot just to be able to watch that A bomb site. But again, they find those little openings, those little timings in the first blood. And of course, it's a BZ that gets it. The first blood Reaper opens up the round. You get the bomb plant and you go from there. In round 11 from a BZ, do you expect anything less? It's just massive work from the MVP, man. That's our champs MVP. He deserves it because he just plays at such a phenomenal speed, man. It's just hard to keep up. Keep in mind, he pops that first blood. Then he comes back in towards his train. He realizes that a, a player in Kleenex is also going to approach it. He takes that guy down. And even though Bance gets the trade, it's still a 2v2 with 25 seconds left. Once Sunyum finds that other kill, it's all on a 2v1. It's going to be really difficult to try to gun down a BZ. He finds three on that final round, round 11. I mean... Final three, round 11, it, there were so many close moments, but unbelievable, really. We were treated, friends, to an unforgettable Call of Duty tournament here, and it's good to be back here in the arena. But lads, it's been an unforgettable year in general. Yep. I mean, there have been some moments, my yeah. friends. Nameless, do you have a favorite moment for this year? This is probably the worst, most difficult question I could ever lay upon us after what we've been going through in 2021. <laughs> Your favorite moment of the year, mate? Well, I, I have two. I'm gonna say one, and it's quick. It's a BZ getting the finals MVP. I just thought that Finally, was great. Man. Finally, man. man Damn, come on. There we some. go. But also, you know, I think at the Rocker Resurrection was just absolutely insane. These guys came back, won five straight. I don't think I'll ever see something like that ever again in my life, and it only happened a couple weeks ago. For me, yeah, even though they just won the tournament, it had to be Atlanta FaZe going up against Seattle, man. That David versus Goliath match, one versus 12, and the fact that it was on land with all the fans there, Seattle had nothing for support. I love a good underdog story, and that was one hell of one. Uh, and then for me, a ton of recency bias and miles. It was because of your casting that really sealed the deal. But uh -huh. it was that Toronto and Empire final hard point okay. on raid where it was just sheer insanity for like a minute and a half straight. Yeah. I'm having flashbacks, right? <laughs> Today, take the back seat, let the co-caster do all the work. And even just like the setup, like one of the final maps that we had before we get to that championship Sunday and just that 250, 248, whatever it was, bloodbath towards the end. Just such a sweet way uh, just to introduce the, the final day. You're not wrong, there's so many moments, I mean, whether it's what, like, at Cammy's eight in that search and destroy was Terminator absolutely was ridiculous. I mean, twice. he did that twice. We could also go back as far as accuracy is 1v3. We could go back to the time when we first saw LAG, the Atlanta phase. Like, there have been some ridiculous yeah. moments. But I'm going to be cheesy and soppy as hell. And I'm going to tell you now, friends, the most memorable moment of the year has definitely been this tournament. Coming back into this venue, seeing all these faces, co-workers, friends, fans, you name it, the players there, just getting drowned in confetti. It felt like a brand new baptism, friends. We're back! And that has been my favorite part of the year. The dance just got a brand new paint job. That stadium is now looking very red indeed. I mean, the boys of Dallas Empire, they did a great job last year, but Atlanta phase, it will be decked out like that for the year to come. Hey, it may be Sim talking some smack too, right? Like he came out of this tournament yeah, with the that, right? Literally from that <laughs> number violence. one that he played, shooting bodies, talking all his trash, and he is just starting to feel himself in this moment. And frankly, I mean, he's been what, the best player in the world, almost clear cut for the past three years. Yeah. Now he's starting to act like it. Where does that put him? Where's Sip at? Top, top five. Top, what all top five. He all gotta time. be top five. He gotta be. Absolutely, undoubted. Faded if you don't think so. Let's have a look though, <laughs> friends, at how this all went down, because again, it has come to an end, but we have to look back and reminisce of what was an unforgettable tournament here in the Call of Duty League. The championship weekend has finally come to a close. 5-3, the final score, and what a scoreline it was. But again, just looking back over those days, since Thursday, it has been unbelievable. I saw so many fans and pros in the crowd, everyone just sort of lamenting the fact, but also celebrating the incredible event we have had before us. And there you go, that $2.5 million distributed across the finest in the world. An Atlanta phase, a 1.2 million dollar dues. It ain't bad, boys. That's a lot of cheddar. What do you do with that? I don't know.
Honestly, I'm <laughs> just fucking lazy. This. I I'm wish I could find out. <laughs> buy, buy some NFTs, probably. That's what I did. Oh, <laughs> shout out. <laughs> called <laughs> skins. You just called nameless. Yeah. There you go. Commons. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, I think that is it for us here on the desk. I mean, boys, any parting words, nameless? Come on, Jay. What? what? What do you want? I said you, brother. <laughs> you took it from me. I got it from you, fam. Yeah. You want it back? Yes, I want it back. Sorry, my bad. All right, hold on. I want it back. Oh, Give this me. This is so scuffed. We are this is why we, we didn't this rehearse this. We it was live. It post. There she is, Lottie. We miss there you. There we go. We, we miss love you, Lottie. You. We love we you, Lottie. Love you, Lottie. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> well, there we go, friends. Oh, well, what a day, what a week it's been. On behalf of myself, on behalf of the Angler's Desk, and Lottie as well, all the crew here, all the fans in the Gatlin Centre, thank you so much. We will see you on Vanguard next year. I'm legendary. You know. You know. Let's go. Out of the dust. Her legend is born. Born for the game. Born for the throne, up from the ground, and out of the gates, I am the storm, I am the thunder, I am the eye of the hurricane, what? yeah, cause I'm the only one that's born for this shit, cause I admit that God was made for this shit, they feeling the rumble when I make you quake, out on the earth, up from the bottom, on to the top, making it shake, yeah, I'm taking the crown, that's why I came, cause I came to reign, Know the name, nothing can stop me. I can't be contained. I was born ready. I'm legendary. I'm legendary. Notorious, victorious. I'm legendary. Written in stone, history's made. I came to rule. I came to play out of the rubble and out from the dirt. This is my rise, this is my time, this is my birth. This is my legacy, I made for this shit. This is my moment, I was born for this shit. I make it rumble when I show my grit. I am the rock, I am the real, I am the strong, I am the great, yeah. I'm taking the crown, that's why I came, cause I came to reign. Know the name, nothing can stop me. I can't be contained. I was born ready. I'm legendary. Yeah, yeah, I'm legendary. Uh, uh, I'm legendary. I'm legendary. Notorious, notorious, victorious, victorious. I'm legendary. I'm taking the crown. That's why I came. Cause I came to reign. Know the name, nothing can stop me. I can't be contained. I was born ready. I'm legendary.